Hello. Hello everyone, I'm MVL and welcome to a live game room tour. This is my room of doom, my man cave if you will, and it is absolutely stacked with over 1,600 games, tons of consoles, and this is going to be a ton of fun. I'm going to show you absolutely everything I've got to offer. This is going to be great. Even though it is going to be a bit of a technical challenge to do this live, I'm actually using a iPhone to do most of this. I'm going to show you all the consoles, and of course I'm going to show you all of the games. This is going to be a ton of fun. Guys, I'm very excited to be with you and to do this live. Doing it through OBS as well. So we're going to be moving over to the webcam in just a moment so that I can show you some of my handhelds and say hi to everybody. Checking out the comments on this video is going to be a bit, uh, bit of challenging doing it live because uh, I am using a phone for a lot of this, but nevertheless, I'm sure this is going to be a lot of fun, my friends. All right, so I'm going to go over to the webcam on the computer and then I'm going to show you my handhelds and then we're going to move back over to the iPhone and I can show you guys my consoles. All right, let's do this, my friends, let's do this. All right, so you can see what I'm working with here. <laughs> you can see what I'm working with, very professional setup. All right, my friends, let me show you the handouts and of course catch up with the comments. Hey, Hitman, how are you doing, my friend? <laughs> it's your birthday, happy level up day, my friend. Happy level up day. Awesome to have you here and on your birthday as well. All right, so, let me show you some of my handhelds. All right, we'll start off with the handhelds and then I'll go over to the systems themselves, which I'll have to use the iPhone for. And uh, first of all, we have the Game Boy Advance SP. Now, I think I traded in my um, Game Boy and my Game Boy Color towards this. Hey, Dreamy Extremely, how are you doing, my friend? Love this system, absolutely great system. Amazing system, I've got a lot of love for this. And, you know, it plays Game Boy Color and plays Game Boy games, so I think that's why I got rid of them to get this. But still really love this system. Got a lot of use out of this system. Still use it today when I'm going traveling as well. It's great, although I do prefer using uh, the uh, Game Boy Play on the GameCube, which I'll show you in just a moment, guys. And then after that, I got the DS. I have a travel uh, case for the DS, but it doesn't fit this. <laughs> and uh, this is the Nintendo DS. It also plays Game Boy Advance games, and that's why I kept the Game Boy Advance SP. And I keep everything these days, but that's why I kept this, uh, because it doesn't play Game Boy or Game Boy Color games. How are you doing, Extremely, my friend? Um, but yeah, another great system, another great system, and that was, of course, followed by the 3DS. This is a Pokemon X and Y version. Love this. Absolutely love it. It looks great. Played a lot of great games on this as well. Fantastic system. Fantastic. All right, and I have some more handhelds to show you. First off, a bit of a weird one. A bit of a weird one. And this is the Pro 200 computer. The commercial for this, they had them throwing um, Super Nintendo games in the trash for this. Hey, uh, Diafo, how are you doing, my friend? That's a cool model. Yeah, uh, this, this is the Pro 200. This is not so good. We can play Tetris on this, actually. I believe it was competing with a Game Boy at the time. Uh, it's a calculator and console. Um, really, really strange system. I've had it forever, actually. It was actually in my back garden and uh, <laughs> survived that. It's so cool to have that. It's cool that it still works. And then, uh, lastly, the uh, PlayStation Portable. Now, this is the Final Fantasy Edition. So you can tell that because it has... Uh, the Final Fantasy VII logo on the back, which is awesome. This is really cool in silver. And I think there's a demo for games in here as well. I've got like a demo UMD in here that came with it. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, I believe it also came with like, uh, well, my original PSP, because this is the case of my original PSP. I actually got rid of my original PSP. But um, my original one came with like Spider-Man on a UMD movie as well. You guys remember those? All right. So now I'm going to move over and show you some consoles. We're going to go back to the we're going to go back to the iPhone. We're going to go back to the iPhone, and I'm going to try and show you guys my consoles. And I'm going to try and keep up with the chat as I do so. I'll have a screen for that. But let's 
show the consoles, my friend. Let's move over to the iPhone footage and show you those consoles. All right. So, bit of a bit of a complicated setup we got here, but you know, you've got to work with what you've got. So, let's move over and show some of these consoles. Now, first of it, first up over here on this top shelf, we've got some of my more modern systems. You got the PlayStation 4 right here. This is actually the Uncharted model. And I have two controllers. This one's relatively new because I'm having problems with my original controller. And by the way, guys, I hope you can hear me all right because I should be using the microphone in the iPhone. So if you can't hear me, just shout, I can't hear you. Uh, and <laughs> that'll let me know that I need to fix something. Um, I'm not using my regular microphone on the... Um, hey, Pixel Game Squad, games, games, games. How are you doing, my friend? Awesome to have you here. I'm doing a crazy, like, game room tour live using my iPhone, of all things, and my PC. So it's a complicated setup, but awesome to have you here, my friend. Uh, yeah, this is the Uncharted, this is Uncharted 4, PlayStation 4. I bought this controller recently because I'm having trouble with this one. Then I have my PlayStation 3. This is, like, a Luna White model, I think. Got a controller there. PS2. I actually play my PlayStation 1 games on my PlayStation 2. Love this controller. Then we have the Vectrix which has my, you know, my memory cards on top of it for like the GameCube and the PlayStation and the PlayStation 2. I'm going to turn this on, guys, to show you it works, uh, but it makes a lot of buzzing, so I won't leave it on very long. You're doing well? That's awesome to hear, my friend. Glad to have you here. Pixel Game Squad, guys, is amazing. Let me, uh, let me turn this on. It's going to make some buzzing. Hopefully, it's going to work. Hopefully, it's going to work. It's not going to embarrass me. This is awkward to do with one hand as well, try and get the controller out. Let me do this. Uh, this is what I get for being so professional. Uh, all right, got the controller out. So there's the controller for Vectrix, if you guys haven't seen it. My controller's actually a bit busted. The, uh, the, bu the thumbstick is a bit depressed in there. And also it doesn't play cartridge games. I think either the cartridge is, you know, the cartridge slot is broken or just the cartridge I have is broken. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna try turning it on for you guys. I don't know where to put the controller. I'm gonna try turning it on. Hopefully it's gonna work, hopefully. All right, I can hear the sound. That's a good sign. Oh, uh, Mindstorm! So Mindstorm still works. Awesome system, guys. Vectrix is a great system. And look at that. And by the way, these make a ton of noise. So if you're hearing a lot of buzzing, that's normal for a Vectrix. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off because it's going to make a ton of noise if it's on. Gonna, I'm not sure what to do with the controller. I'm just going to put it back there and hope it doesn't fall off during this video. But that's what I get for using an iPhone, isn't it? <laughs> All right, I also need to turn the power off for that bad boy as well. So under that, under that, we have, and you might not be able to see this because it's black, <laughs> uh, but uh, I have the uh, Wii U, and it's quite dark in this corner, unfortunately. But I have a Wii U here, a Wii U in the darkest depths of the game room. Uh, and there is the Wii U control pad there, which you might or might not be able to see, I'm not sure. And... Um, over here we have the Wii, which is white, so you can see that very easily, because the shelves are black as well, and there's not a lot of light here. Uh, Wii controllers there. I play my GameCube games through the Wii, oh, and I knock over all of my controllers, which is also a good thing. The Wii U is awesome, my friends, yeah. I play that on my CRT TV, uh, which, also, which has the uh, N64 plugged into it right now. And then I have this um, Gears of War Xbox 360 with, which fell over on the floor a minute ago, the Gears of War controller. Which is really cool. Um, I actually really, really like this console. Uh, I picked it up recently. That's why it's here. It wouldn't normally be here. Because it's a kind of superfluous. So I just got it because it looks nice. Um, but it wouldn't... Oh, I knocked another controller over. Uh, but then I have a black Xbox 360E here. Which is really loud. I was hoping this would be a bit less loud. And I could switch to it. Switch all my stuff onto it. But it's still really loud. I've got the... Um, the connect. I was like, I can't even remember what it's called because it's so awful, but it's the connect. I'm just going to leave my controller in a, in a mess over there. Um, but yeah, so I use this. This would normally not be here, but I was testing it out to make sure it works, and it does work. And then underneath that, we have the Xbox One, uh, which is massive. It's absolutely massive, guys. <laughs> uh, and then we have the N64 with the Pikachu controller <gasps> over there. Uh, that's that's actually plugged in at the moment and then running off the uh, CRT TV that I have over there. Sony Trinitron, kind of the holy grail of CRT TVs. And then down here, I hope you guys can see this because it is quite dark. I have uh, a Pong console and then I have a 
2600. I'm going to bring it out so hopefully you, can, you guys can see it. So I do apologise, guys. I don't have any lighting on this side of the room. And there's also a PlayStation 1 here as well under this. But I, like I said, I play all of my PlayStation uh, Eject when stuck. So this uh, this actually the lid for this got stuck a lot. I'm just going to pile that back up there. I actually play my PlayStation 1 games on the PS2. And over here we have uh, a... Um, this is the Master System Converter for the Mega Drive. And then, of course, we have the Master System as well, Sega Master System Model 2. That doesn't have uh, component out, actually. Composite out, I should say, not component. None of them have component out. And it doesn't have composite out, it only has RF out, uh, or aerial out, uh, which, is, which is unfortunate. And then I have my Mega Drive Model 1 here, which looks really nice, by the way. I love the look of that console. And then down here, we have the Turbo Graphics. This is the PAL Turbo Graphics. Pal, Turbo Graphics, not as good as American Turbo Graphics, but you know, I work with what I got. I work with what I got, my friends. All right, and then as I try and put some of this stuff back, we have the Nintendo GameCube, and this has, if I can show you guys this with one hand easily, this has the Game Boy Player attached to it, so you can play Game Boy Advance games. Master System, I know, right? Whoop whoop, Master System. Uh, so you can play Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games on this, which is really good. You also need the startup disc, the which I'll show you guys later. Then I have my Super Nintendo game here, Super Nintendo console, I should say, <laughs> Super Nintendo console right there, and then my NES, which I modified with the front loader. So this has a blinking light win in it, so it actually loads front instead of pushing down. You can't push down on this one. You guys might be wondering why these aren't plugged in. I actually play these on my Retro Freak these days, these systems, the um, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and uh, not the GameCube, of course, but I play those on the Retro Freak, which I'll, which I'll show later. But I play my GameCube games on the Wii, which is why there's a GameCube controller there. Um, it's just an easier way to do it. Plus, I can get HDMI out easier, which means I can stream it a bit easier. And then just hiding away in the corner here, is a light gun, the PS3 light gun for some reason. Look at this thing, this is powerful. This is a this is a powerful weapon right here. <laughs> you can do a lot of damage with that. I've got a lot of light guns, by the way, guys. All right, nice, I know, right? Got a Retro Freak as well. It's a really great system. All right, so I hope that wasn't too dark because like it looked really dark on my phone, but I don't know what it's gonna look like for you. Okay, so over here we have my televisions. I have a flat screen. I do have a flat screen. I play modern consoles, so I need a flat screen for that. Love the CRTV. This is a Sony Trinitron. I used to have a different Sony Trinitron that was bigger, but I had to get rid of it because it was way too big, unfortunately. But I still have one. I still have one. Just under that, I have a Vita TV. This is a Vita TV console. That's how I play my Vita games. I don't actually have a Vita. I use the Vita TV. And then under that, we have the Sega Dreamcast. Oh, the Sega Dreamcast. Love it. Next up, we have the Sega Saturn. And these are all going in. These consoles here are all going in by RGB SCART to my Sony Trinitron. Game is awesome. Thank you, guys. Hey, Gabo! Gabo! I don't know, I don't know if I told you, but I have an original Xbox, Gabo. And I have the transparent green controller. Ooh! But yeah, my original Xbox is just down here at the bottom. Love that system. Absolutely love it. There's a lot of great games on it. I'll show my Xbox games later in the stream as well. Uh, but yeah, my Sega consoles are here. So the Sega Saturn there, the Dreamcast. My Dreamcast doesn't work anymore, unfortunately. It just keeps dying. I think that's a common problem. So I'm going to try and get it changed, I guess. Try and, try and switch it or fix it. I don't know. But then I have my Sega CD here, or Mega CD as we call it over here. That's attached to that. And uh, that's a great system. So I still have this plugged in so I can use the, uh, the Mega CD. But I actually play my Sega uh, Mega Drive, or as you guys might call it, Genesis games, on my Retro Freak, which I might as well show you guys right now. How are you doing, Gabo? Great to have you here, my friend. And Slayer768, what's up, buddy? I apologize, I'm having a tough time with the chat using an iPhone. But uh, this, was, this was an adventurous prospect to do this live. <laughs> so, awesome to have you guys here. How are you doing, Slayer? How are you doing, Gabo and Pixel Game Squad? I appreciate you being here, my friends. You guys are awesome. No worries, guys. I love you. All right. Next to the... Why, that next to the... I'm about to say widescreen TV. The flat screen TV. We have a Mega Drive Mini with the controller. Love this system. We have the Super Nintendo Mini, 
and we have the NES Mini, which is actually what's plugged in right now on that screen. Yeah. And then we have the uh, Retro Freak. Now, I use the Retro Freak for a lot of different stuff. I use it for tons of different stuff. And it goes out by HDMI, so I can capture a lot of systems like NES, Mega Drive, Genesis, uh, Super Nintendo, and all of that stuff. It'll go out by HDMI. And there's, there's a lot of leads here, but there's normally way more leads, guys. <laughs> there's normally way more leads, so I have no fear about that. Appreciate it, guys. Appreciate you stopping by. You guys are awesome. I'll catch you next time, my friends. Uh, and then under that, we have some of my more obscure systems. So let's pull this out. The Panasonic 3DO, the real gaming experience. That's how I play my vivid interactive games, and I'll say no more about that. And then under that, we have... Uh, uh, we have the Philips CDI, which was just awful. Just awful. Let's put that back there. <laughs> Indeed, smash the like button, my friends. All right. Ooh. All right, doing this with doing this with a phone, walking around. I never walk around in my streams. This is this is a new experience for me. I'm also trying to get the uh, trying to get the screen to a point where I can see it as well, which helps. And try not to unplug it. Not the CDI. How are you doing, Mister No Life? Welcome, my friend. All right. Then we have this relatively new uh, shelf unit over here. Uh, well, I haven't really filled it up yet, but I need more space for stuff. On the top, I've got some more plug-and-plays. So I've got the Space Invaders plug-and-play. That is awesome. Love that. And I've got this uh, Capcom plug-and-play. And then this Mega Drive plug-and-play as well. That's not bad, actually. I got them all relatively cheap. I didn't pay much for those. And then down here, I have the, the C64 Mini. It's disappointing. Uh, I have a C64 mini controller, and next to that, I have an actual um, Commodore 64 um, data set tape player, so I can play my actual Commodore games. Um, but I'm thinking about getting maybe a uh, maybe an MP3 player to take the place of this, so I don't have to actually use my data sets. But that was my system back in the day, and I've got that down the bottom here. And then we've got uh, we've got the PlayStation Mini. I don't know what to say about this. Just uh, I mean uh, I mean you guys know. And I got this weird, I don't know what this is, this is like a weird PlayStation 2 stand. It's kind of cool. Um, it's got like video out on it. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Where am I from? I'm from the United Kingdom, my friend. This is a weird system. This is a weird system. So this, as I understand, this is a clock and it tells the time. So right now it's 9 p.m. And this is a great system because it also does radio. And it tells you the time, but it has this really terrible problem. It's got a glitch where it wakes you up for work, and that really sucks. So if they can patch that out so it doesn't wake you up for work, then that would be awesome. That would be great. <laughs> Thanks, Gabba. You're awesome, my friend. Yeah, I'm from the UK. You want one? <laughs> uh, here's my uh, vintage computers. Um, this is... I also have a VIC-20, but it's not here. This is my... Uh, which one is this? This is my Commodore 64. I actually have three Commodore 64s, but this is the only one that still works. And then my Amiga 500 is over here as well. That's my Amiga. And that still works as well, even though I might have just busted a button. I wish I hope I haven't. Uh, I also have two other Amigas, a 1200 and a 500 Plus, but they don't work, unfortunately. But as far as I know, all of my Amiga games still work. <laughs> time and the radio well the eighth generation console i know right my friends all right and i hope you guys uh, appreciate and like bear with me for using the iphone because this is uh this is this is the most awkward stream i've ever done so i hope you guys appreciate this and all right now we're going to take a look at some of the games some of the games i hope this isn't too much of a train wreck for you guys because <laughs> i know the camera is going to be shaky as heck all right let's start off with this wall right here which is going to be um, some some of the retro systems, but more of the retro stuff is to the right of that, and we're going to move on to that later with like my loose NES, and we'll move on to boxed NES and stuff like that as well. I'm going to have to move my computer as well so I can see the chat as well. <laughs> yeah, Gabo, you're awesome, my friend, and Pixel Game Squad. Really appreciate you guys dropping by. You guys are amazing. Thank you for being here, guys. You guys are awesome. And I don't know if I tell you, but you are awesome. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> um, all right, next up, I'm actually going to stand on my desk to show you this properly. We have the PlayStation Portable. 
Now, we I got a bunch of PSP. I really like the PSP, but I don't like the UMD media of it because it's really slow. And uh, hopefully, guys, you're going to see this stuff a little bit better. Hopefully, uh, the lighting's a little better in this area and it's not so awkward. But, uh, yeah, I hope this works out a little better. So, I'm going to try and show you guys as, as much as I can uh, with the amount of time I have. So, first up, we have Ape Academy, which I think is like a different version of Ape Escape. Aliens vs. Predator there. Oh, you know, saying that, Ape Escape P, that is the version of Ape Escape on the PSP. So, I think that's what that is. And then... Uh, Astonisher Story, that's an RPG. Blade Dancer, another RPG. When I got that, if you guys check out my game hunting video where I got Blade Dancer, <laughs> there was actually like a, a piece of a booklet from a hentai in there. That was kind of weird. That's on one, I think that's on my adults, uh, adults only uh, video game pickups video. Not pickups, game hunting video. There you go. I've got Breath of Fire here, another great RPG. Brothers in Arms D-Day. I'm not really sure why I have that. I just seem to have it. Bubble Bobble Evolution. And Capcom Puzzle World. Loads of puzzle games there. I'm actually standing on the edge of my desk here. It's really awkward. <laughs> Castlevania, the Dracula X Chronicles. Coded Arms. Not your regular arms, Coded Arms. Crisis Core, Final Fantasy VII. Crazy Taxi. Crush, crush them! Dead to Rights the Reckoning, Dynasty Warriors, and Dynasty Warriors Volume 2. Then I've got some Final Fantasy games here. Feeling of some coffee? I need some coffee, that is right. That is right, I do definitely need some coffee. Uh, I've got Final Fantasy games on the PSP here. Now, on my latest video, I picked up this Final Fantasy 2, the Japanese Final Fantasy 2. That's really cool. That's really cool. Um, that also actually also plays in English on, a, on an English PSP. Uh, another Final Fantasy game. More Final Fantasy here. And then this will get you fired up. <laughs> we have Gangs of London. Ghost in a Shell. That's, a, that's you know, a game. <laughs> God of War. And Grand Theft Auto. Half Minute Hero here is a really good game, actually. You guys should check that out. Innocent Life. This is like a futuristic version of Harvest Moon. Key of Heaven. Another RPG. Kill Zone. Kingdom Hearts. I'm very confused about the Kingdom Hearts games. Which one to like start with? Because I kind of missed out on them. Lemmings. I love Lemmings. One of my favorite games on the Amiga. Medieval Resurrection. All right, now I can get off the desk. And in fact, standing on the desk was probably a bad idea in the first place. All right. Uh, Mega Man. Metal Gear games here, Metal Gear Acid, which is like a card game, I think, and Metal Gear Solid, Peace Walker, and then Mortal Kombat, that's not bad, actually, Motorstorm, Arctic Edge, this is a collector's edition, that's actually quite hard to come by, um, this is a great collection of games here, there's some fantastic games on the Namco Museum, Battle Collection, Prinny, Can I Really Be the Hero, this is a really awesome game, uh, part of the Disgaea series, or affiliated with it. Awesome game, actually. Pursuit Force, another pretty sweet game. Pursuit Force there. They're pretty sweet games, Pursuit Force. I quite like them. Huh? Hey, that's awesome, Mr. Life. Appreciate you being here, my friend. Um, Ren, Ren Goku, I want to say. <laughs> and then Resistance. Uh, this is the PSP Resistance game. Uh, they also have games on the PS3. Here we have Dynasty Wars. I'm just going to put that there because these are getting quite awkward to take out. Or just away from there until I put it back. Then you've got some Sega Mega Drive collections. There's a Mega Drive collection on anything. Think of something, there's probably a Mega Drive collection on it. Star Ocean First Departure. Star Wars Battlefront. And then Lethal Alliance. SWAT there. That's not bad actually, it's a shooting game. Siphon Filter. Love Siphon Filter. Then you've got Taito Legends Power Up. <laughs> Yeah, that's a really good collection of games as well. I love those. I love game collections that have a lot of games on them, uh, a lot of older games because that's a lot of fun as well. Um, Tekken there. Then you've got another RPG, Tales of the Sky, The Legend of Heroes. I'm going to put that back in a moment. Lord of the Rings, Tony Hawk's, and then uh, Untold Legends. This is actually a cool game as well. And then more Untold Legends, and then Valkyrie Profile. And then we have 
Warhammer games. I love Warhammer, guys. I've got a lot of Warhammer models. Worms. Smackdown versus Raw. And then down here at the bottom, I'll try putting that back in some sort of order. I'm just going to mess up the whole place as I'm doing this. We have some Vita games. I've got Batman. I actually streamed this on the Vita TV. Uh, Blackgate. Then we also have um, Soldner X2. I've got the soundtrack for that as well. And um, Sorcery Saga. Uh, Curse of the Great Curry God. Weird game, but you know. Don't have many games for that system. Strange looking games. Oh, yep. It's just the tip of the iceberg, I fear, because there's a lot of strange looking games here. Uh, all right. PC games here. CD sized PC games are over here. I'm going to pull out um, some of these that I think are notable. Um, and definitely Age of Wonders is a game that I really love. This is a strategy RPG. That is an awesome game. Command and Conquer games, of course. Can't go without Red Alert. Red Alert is fantastic. Uh, Discord Noir is, an, is a great game. It's also on consoles as well, I think. I'm going to stand... Whoa! I'm going <laughs> to... Nearly fell over. I'm going to stand between my desk and my sofa, I guess. Um, a lot of great role-playing games on the PC. Uh, this is actually quite cool. This is uh, Shock Troopers, the second squad. And this is, I, this is not a legitimate copy of this, but, you know, it's cool to have it. It's cool to have a version. And then over here, I think we start moving into some of my CDI games over here. So these are the CDI games. Uh, first, before that, we've got some Turbo Graphics games. Uh, this is a uh, PC Engine game, War of the Dead. That's a good game. And then we have... Uh, Blazing Lasers, which is fantastic. And then we have Alien Gate, another great shooter. I love shooters. The CDI actually has some all right games. Um, you just have to you just have to look past a lot of the, the crap that's on there. Um, Demo's Quest is actually pretty good. And uh, Golden Oldies is not great versions of, of a Guardian Invaders, to be honest. It's not great versions of it. Uh, Mad Dog McGree. I actually have a light gun for the CDI and it does work. Uh, I don't have one for the 3DO though, and I want one for it. Uh, Mutant Rampage Body Slam, probably one of the games that people talk about. Uh, careful now, I know right guys, I nearly fell over. <laughs> probably one of the games people talk about as a reason to get the system. Uh, to be honest, it's, it's an average side-scrolling beat-em-up, but it is a cool beat-em-up, it is really cool. What it is, guys, is I have this, um, I have this, um, three foot cable coming out of this to my PC, and then on that I have the, an Xbox, uh, I have an Xbox, um, extension cable as well, for the USB, <laughs> so I just tripped over the cable, <laughs> but I'm, sta I'm currently standing on my, uh, my sofa, Tetsuo Gaiden, another great shooter on the system, so if you look, there are some good games on this system, definitely, uh, Seventh Guest, a cool, uh, puzzle game, Pretty cool. All right, and then on to this side, we have some more PC. Well, what am I talking about? PC. We're past the PC games, but there will be more PC games, my friends, because uh, these are just the CD-sized ones. I have big box ones just over there, and then behind me, I have some DVD-sized ones just over there. So I'll show those in a little bit later as well. But we're on to uh, we're on to some more CDI stuff. Uh, the Apprentice is another great platformer on CDI, so there are some sweet games on it. Uh, Voyeur, probably the less said about that game, the better. And then we're on to the 3 do So uh, Alone in the Dark, you know, started on the PC and 3 do A lot of people kind of forget that, uh, but these are probably the best versions of Alone in the Dark 1 and 2. At least the ones that are easiest to get. The PC ones will probably look better, but these ones will, you know, plug and play. <laughs> Blonde Justice, vivid interactive game right there. Uh, D, you know, there's a version of D on this. I think it's also on the Sega Saturn. Uh, Gex is on different systems as well, so you probably want to pick that up for a different system if you wanted to get it. And then I have uh, an RPG game here. And then uh, Sex on the 3DO. Yep, that's actually a thing. Starblade, that's not that bad. It's kind of like a Star Fox star game. Then you have uh, Sherlock Holmes there. And Theme Park. Uh, Theme Park was on a lot of systems as well, of course. Of course. Uh, Sega Collection here for the Mega CD. Got uh, Golden Axe on that, so with some great music actually. Soul Feast as well here. And uh, Final Fight CD, one of the better versions of Final Fight, uh, with the great CD music there. And then we have Sonic CD, talking about great games, Sonic CD is absolutely fantastic. Uh, Night Trap, not the best version of it on the Sega CD, but uh, certainly the most iconic version. And then we have Time Gal. 
and over here we have um oh yeah so this is sega san panzer dragoon saga now this is a demo disc for the first disc but it's actually the complete first disc of this game and if you guys know this game it is outrageously expensive so this demo disc is the complete first disc of panzer dragoon saga and that's the closest i'll probably get to it to be honest so i can play the first disc of that game um, and then we've got Virtual Cop, Light Gun Games, love Light Gun Games, and then on to the Dreamcast, Charge and Blast, Choo Choo Rocket, Easy Dub, Easy Dub, Easy Dub, uh, Fighting Force 2, a beat em up game, and then of course Jet Set Radio, Fantasy Star Online, Quake, Shadow Man, and Shenmue. So we had some weird packaging for Shenmue over here. Uh, Shenmue came in like two cases, and uh, I recently upgraded. Hey, Cruelty Gaming, how are you doing, my friend? Welcome to the stream. I recently upgraded to this, which um, which is um, just the outer case to put them together. So now they're together, um, it looks a lot more neat, I think. So I'm, I'm, I'm more happy about how this looks, but I used to just have the cases without the outer box, and it was really shoddy looking. And then next to that, we have Skies of Arcadia. Yeah, another great game. I want to get the GameCube version of this. Alright, more Dreamcast here, moving on to PlayStation, love the PlayStation as well, uh, Sonic Adventure, Soul Calibur, Sword of the Berserk Guts Rage, a really cool game actually, very unusual one, here we have the Nomad Soul, and there's Tomb Raider, The Last Revelation, Toy Commander, someone recommended me that game, Trick Style, Unreal Tournament, and oh, uh, Virtual Fighter, and this is a really good game as well. Zombie Revenge. This is a cool game. Um, it's kind of like a beat 'em up with shoot 'em up elements. Really sweet. All right, onto the PlayStation. We have Alien Trilogy. Really cool selection of games. Nice game room. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate you being here. This is a this is a really. Um, this is a ooh, smash tennis. This is a really interesting video for me to do because I've never done a video like this using a phone. I've, I'm using a selfie stick attached to a phone. Ape Escape there. Area 51. A light gun shooter. Love this game actually. And Asteroids. Not a bad version of Asteroids. I've never done a stream like this before. So it's, it's definitely a learning process for me. <laughs> uh, and then we have Batman Forever the Arcade Game. We did this on the Danger Zone with myself and the German Monkey. Blast Radius. Not a bad game. Blaze and Blade. Now this is going to be the next um, Danger Zone episode with myself and Jonah. And we recorded it a while ago, but it's going to be out soon, my friends. Probably December. And that's going to be like my holiday special. Uh, as well as a top 10 uh, video game pickups as well. Blockbuster, kind of like an Arkanoid game. Bomberman there. Bomberman World. Basudo Blade. And then Colony Wars games with C12 here, Final Resistance. And some more Colony Worlds games. Colony Worlds games there, tongue tied. And then uh, Red Alert. See, this one doesn't work too well, but um, but it's still great to have it. Crisis Beat there, a beat 'em up game. All right, guys, I'm going to take a very quick break, and I will be right back, my friends, and we'll continue. Hey, William Armstrong, how are you doing, my friend? Great to have you here. I'm going to take a very quick break. This is why I did this with OBS, so I could take breaks if I needed to. Uh, and I will be right back, my friends. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back, and I'll continue the PlayStation showing you that stuff.
All right, we are back, my friends. You also need to pee. <laughs> I really thought I was going to make it through it, but then the coffee needed to come through. <laughs> So where were we? We were at, uh, we just looked at Command & Conquer Red Alert, right? Which is a great place to leave it off because this is a fantastic game. And again, guys, apologies if I miss any of the comments. Um, I, I need to keep turning back to my laptop to see the comments. <laughs> so, you know, this is certainly a learning experience. I really want to do this and I thought live would be a good way to do it. Crisis Beat. So this is a really sweet beat-em-up game. Um, this is really cool. It's a, probably a relatively unknown game. I guess I could say it's a hidden gem. Very cool game. And we've got Crusader No Remorse right here. Another cool game. Isometric Shooter. Crusaders and Might and Magic. There are so many Might and Magic games. Uh, Descent 2. I actually have Descent, uh, the first game, but I'm missing a case for it. Die Hard Trilogy. A fantastic selection of games. I uh, streamed the Light Gun game for Die Hard Trilogy uh, previously. And there's Die Hard Trilogy 2. Viva Las Vegas, which not a lot of people know about. Again, it has free games on it, a shoot 'em up game, a light gun shooter, and a driving game. So it's really cool. I may well stream the uh, stream the light gun game on that as well at some point. Dino Crisis, survival horror, very Resident Evil reminiscent. Uh, in fact, it does have a. Um, it says from the makers of Resident Evil series. So there you go. Another great game, kind of like uh, Dino Crisis. I know, right? All right. More PlayStation 1 here, moving on on this side. And first up we have Disruptor. This is a really cool clone of Doom, and it's from, uh, it's from uh, Insomniac Games, right? I I'm, I'm saying like right, as in I'm pretty sure it's from Insom Insomniac Games. Uh, I'm, I'm, f I, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm forgetting, but there you go. The guys that did the new Spider-Man game, uh, it's from them. <laughs> so pretty cool. Uh, Driver 2. I'm not so good at that game. Duke Nukem, Land of the Babes, baby. Uh, Ur guys, uh, this is a uh, fighting game that has um, Final Fantasy VII characters in it. Sephiroth and uh, Cloud. It's pretty cool. Uh, Eliminator, nice shooter there. Everybody's Golf. Hey guys, if you want to know what a, go a golf game is for everybody, that's it. Evil Zone, this is a weird fighter um, that I've just had in my collection forever. I kind of like it. Excalibur, and um, this game is different overseas in America. The uh, character looks different. I believe she's wearing like less clothing or something, and she's got different colored hair for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, Ghostbusters. Uh, this is a light gun shooter, guys. It's not that great. It's it's honestly not that great. Probably my worst light gun shooter uh, in my collection. Uh, Fear Effect. More survival horror. Absolutely love these games. Actually, very adult. But uh, very cool. I know some people aren't big fans of the um, tank controls that they call it these days, but you know, they just used to be controls. Fighter Maker, fighting game, Final Fantasy Anthology, and more Final Fantasy here. Guys, love my Final Fantasy games. As you probably noticed on the PlayStation Portable, I had a fair few of them. Final Fantasy VII, one of my top games of all time, along with The Legend of Zelda. Uh, Final Fantasy 8 there, and then Final Fantasy 9. You know I've got like three copies of 8 and probably not like four, well, four, however many. Is this a four disc game? It is a four disc game, right? It is, it is a four disc game. <laughs> uh, probably not four working discs among the whole of the versions I have. Future Racer. Gauntlet, love me some Gauntlet. Absolutely love Gauntlet. G Police, cool game series. More G Police there. Grand Theft Auto, this is a collector's edition that also includes London. Um, this is an, another version of London. I'm actually missing uh, one of the London games as well. Gran Turismo, Grudge Warriors, Hard Edge. Um, this has a different name overseas, I don't know what it is, but it's another kind of Resident Evil style game. Heart of Darkness, actually a really cool game, a really interesting game. If you guys haven't checked out Heart of Darkness, this game's really interesting. Hybrid, another kind of Doom clone. Um, In Cold Blood. Jade Cocoon. This is like a mix between Final Fantasy and Pokemon. I very much recommend this game. It's very good. Kensai Sacred Fist, an average fighting game. Alright, more PlayStation 1. I got a lot of PlayStation 1, guys. Gran Turismo. Yeah, I got Gran Turismo. I got a fair few. Uh, Kodelka, survival horror game. Pretty cool. Soul Reaver. Look at this case as well. Look at that. It's reflective. That's kind of cool. Life Force uh, Tenka. Loaded. 
And then uh, Lone Soldier. This game is awful. This is like a run and gun shooter. Uh, Louvre, The Final Curse, a mystery game. Uh, Martian Gothic, another horror game. Metal Gear Solid. People keep asking me to stream this, but you know, you'll get copyright on the music, unfortunately, as it is a Konami game. Metal Gear Solid, The Special Missions, that's like extra VR missions. Uh, there's also a pack with both of those together. Uh, Micromaniacs, from the kind of Micro Machines IP. This is a really cool racing game. Mobile Light Force, it's not actually called Mobile Light Force, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a shooter, but it's just rebranded to Mobile Light Force, uh, but it's a really good game. N2O, this is a very colourful game, pretty cool. ODT, another interesting game. Odd World, I like this game. Overboard, got recommended this game, it's actually pretty fun, it's a vehicle combat game. Pax Corpus there. Pitfall 3D, eh, it's not as good as the original. Prism Land, a cool puzzle game. Rayman there. Got the Rayman games, Rayman 2. Resident Evil. Now, guys, Resident Evil. What a great game series. I've got the original there, uh, Platinum. Huh? In Cold Blood, like the book. I actually don't know, unfortunately. I do have a fair few horror books, though. Uh, they're just not in the game room. I want to find a better place for my... Uh, for my uh, my books and DVDs. I've got some DVDs in the game room, but they probably need to move out because I'm running out of space. One thought I've had, because I did think previously, as I'm showing more Resident Evil games, I did think previously about moving. Um, but as it as it stands, I'm thinking about splitting the game room. Not sure if I'm going to split it. Uh, Survivor, by the way, light gun version. At least over here you can play it with a light gun. You can't play it with a light gun uh, in other releases, but you can over here if you have the right light gun. Uh, play that as a light gun game, which is why I actually quite like it. Um, I've been thinking about splitting the game room into another room. Um, really, I need to find a good place for my DVDs and my books uh, <laughs> elsewhere in the house. Because uh, I used to film in my living room way back in the day. Uh, but I've been thinking about uh, Riven, uh, sequel to Mist. I've been thinking about splitting the game room. I'm, I'm still thinking, not, not necessarily going to do it, but maybe like old and new in one room. Uh, and then, or maybe like uh, computer in one room and then console in another. I'm not sure. Run and Blade, but I am running out of space. San Vian, I believe this is known as Shooter San Vian elsewhere. Shaolin, this game is actually pretty cool. Silent Bomber, this is a cool game. I got this really cheap. You can see me get that in one of my game hunting videos. Silent Hill, absolutely love it. Survival horror. Space Debris, uh, pretty cool game, underrated. Star Sweep, another fun puzzle game. Another fun puzzle game. Silent Hill scares you after 100 playthroughs. It is a really good game. I've got to get doing it at some point. I apologise as I nearly trip over the wire yet again. Star Wars Masters of Terrace Kasai. This is a terrible game, but I rented it from Blockbuster back in the day, so I, I have actually quite an attachment to this game. Uh, so I really like it. Uh, I may have owned it as well and traded it in, but I'm not sure. Strikers 1945 2. Syndicate Wars. Siphon Filter. I know there's a lot of fans of Siphon Filter games out there. I do love Siphon Filter games. I love getting the taser and just tasering the crap out of people. <laughs> Tekken. I love the Tekken games, or at least, you know, I haven't played any of the new fighting games, but um, Tekken 1, Tekken 2, and uh, Tekken 3. Love them. Absolutely love them. Tenchu here, stealth games. I do have stealth games. I do play stealth sometimes. <laughs> Tennis Arena. I bought this because I thought it was a different game, actually. Kind of funny. I think I thought it was like a tennis RPG that I'd heard about, but that's actually on the, um, that's actually on the Turbo Graphics. Um, Alundra. Pretty cool RPG there. It's in great condition with everything complete. That's why it's in a protective case. The Hunter. Interesting RPG. Tactical RPG. Time Commando. This game is garbage. Garbage. Get back in there. Time Crisis. I love my light gun shooters. Love them. Absolutely love them. Alright, Time Crisis, Project Titan. Sweet game as well. Love them. Absolutely love them. Tomb Raider, The Last Revelation. You might have seen that on the Dreamcast as well. It's got different music, I think. Uh, Tunguska. Ubik. Urban Chaos. Wild 9. This is a cool game, actually. I shouldn't just skip past it. It's kind of cool. It's like a side-scroller. Wild Arms. Excellent, excellent RPG. And this Smackdown, I've been, I was a big fan of the uh, Smackdown games. I played the hell out of those. And then after X2, I don't think this game... Uh, this is a shooter, I don't think this works very well. And this is a sequel to the game on the Amiga, actually, X, which is pretty cool. 
All right, now on to the uh, Game Boy. We have Kirby's Pinball Land. These are boxed Game Boy. I have loose Game Boy, which I'll show you in just a moment. Mystic Quest. Really happy to finally get this in the box. Uh, love this game. Uh, part of the Mana series, actually, despite the very confusing name. It's not Final Fantasy Mystic Quest related. Tetris. Got that in the box. Very happy about that. Uh, Heroes of Might and Magic for the Game Boy Color. We're on to Game Boy Color games now. More Game Boy games here. Moving on to Game Boy Advance. Alright, so first of all we have um, Santa Claus Jr. This is a European exclusive. And over here we have our Wario Land Free. And then here we have WWF Betrayal. This is a side-scrolling uh, beat-em-up <laughs> for a WWF game. It's actually pretty unusual. Uh, Yoda Stories. This is a cool game. Top-down adventure game. Uh, Advanced Wars on the Game Boy Advance tactical game. Black Belt Challenge. Uh, Castlevania. You can see me pick this up in my latest game hunting video. Hey, Billy B. How are you doing, my friend? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Awesome to have you here. Columns Crown there for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, X vs. Sever 2 Ballistic. You can actually see me picking up a bunch of these games in my game hunting videos on the channel as well. Uh, Lady Sia. So I was putting these in these protective boxes recently. And I put a bunch of them down on the sofa. And I just... I, I was doing something else and I just sat on them. So there's a big crease in this case because I sat on this. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I can't believe I sat on one of my boxes that I was just about to put in a box protector, but I sat on it. And you know, I kind of messed the. Uh, I've kind of messed up the Castlevania, uh, wherever that's gone. I kind of messed up the Castlevania taking the sticker off on that as well. So yeah, uh, it's nice to get them in the box until you sit on them and mess up the stickers. Hey, Metal Slug Advance. Awesome game. I love Metal Slug games. Got a bunch of Pokemon here. I do have Pokemon games. I played the original Pokemon games uh, when they came out, and I picked up a few of them afterwards. Shining Force. I absolutely love Shining Force, guys. I'm a big fan of the Shining Force games, all the way from the Mega Drive, or the Genesis, if you if you call it that, onwards. Uh, Sigma Star Saga. This is a combination of like an RPG and a shoot 'em up game. Very interesting game. Um, Spyro. Uh, Tales of Fantasia on the Game Boy Advance. Love having that in the box. X-Men Reign of Apocalypse. This is like the only game I have that genuinely won't work on my Retro Freak. Uh, it just plays without sound for some reason, unfortunately. Um, the Legend of Zelda a Link to the Past. It also includes Four Swords. Fantastic version of the game for the Game Boy Advance right there. You doing great? BBC should do a story about my collection. <laughs> You know me guys, I'm up for anything. I'm up for anything. Uh, and now we move on to DS. Uh, Dragon Quest here, some Final Fantasy games, a bunch of Final Fantasy games. DS it is a great system guys. It is an absolutely great system. I'm a big fan of it. There's lots of Final Fantasy stuff on it. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like uh, the controls on the DS, but I'm actually, I'm actually a big fan of it. Um, except when they do stylus controls, that kind of bugs me. I don't like using a stylus, but definitely I find them easier to control than PSP games. Chrono Trigger. I think this was like the first official release we had over here in the UK. We didn't get the Game Boy version. Uh, so, no, what am I saying? We didn't get the PlayStation version, but we did get the DS version. Uh, and we didn't get the original version either. So this was like the first official version we got of this game. It's kind of crazy to think that. Uh, Dead and Furious. This uses a stylus, actually. This is like a zombie shooter game. It's kind of interesting. Um, I don't like using the stylus because, like, if I... You know, the DS is awkward enough because, like, you can't really stream it. Um, but, yeah. Uh, Azuni. Cool game there. Lunar Genesis on the DS and not the Genesis. <laughs> Mystery Quest. Mystery Dungeon, I should say. Resident Evil game here. Uh, Deadly Silence. A remake of Resident Evil 1. Actually, pretty good. Do you know House of the Dead? Do I know House of the Dead? I have House of the Dead. Of course I do. I've got, uh, I've got it on the Wii, actually. I don't have it on the, uh, I don't have it on the Saturn, but I do have it on the Wii. Uh, Star Fox Command. I believe this uses the stylus as well. I believe it uses the stylus. Uh, Super Princess Peach, underrated, very easy, but, um, you know, one of the few games where you can actually use Peach in a Mario game, uh, character doesn't get the do's, kind of just, um, is a bit of a damsel in distress a lot of the time, but that game's actually pretty good. Uh, Tetris DS, good version of Tetris, there's a Yu-Gi-Oh game here, and then on to 3DS, uh, we have, uh, Dead or Alive Dimensions, and then, um, Fire Emblem Awakening, 
and then Fire Emblem's Fates. This is a special edition that has uh, all three games in it. So this is very, very sought after, actually, this version. Uh, very, very, very sought after. Uh, Pokemon Y, and then Pokemon Omega Ruby, and then Pokemon Sun. I don't have the uh, altered version of Sun, whatever that was called. Um, Chronicle Samurai Warriors, and then a bunch of games here. Uh, these are the collector's cards for Senran Kagura. So I have Senran. Okay, check out this. Check out this artwork, guys. There's Senran Kagura. And then, what what do you think Senran Kagura Two looks like? So there's one scroll. Of course, it's two scrolls. <laughs> All right. Um, Star Fox 3D. Very good version, actually, of uh, the 64 game Majora's Mask, and then Ocarina of Time. Both great versions of them on that system. Hey, the Journey Monkey, how are you doing? You love the brain training game? The brain training game is actually very, very good. Um, very good for your brain, actually. I should probably do it, then I would be less like I am. <laughs> uh, all right, we're gonna move over to some um, Atari 2600, loose Game Boy, Game Boy Advanced, Game Gear, and, uh, and Turbo Graphics, and then on to PC big box games, and then moving down from there. Then moves on to more big box games, all the way down to a couple of special editions and stuff at the bottom there. So uh, let's let's go and show the uh, the 2600 games. So I got I got a lot of these. There's a couple of duplicates. Uh, I got a lot of these from uh, from America. So a lot of them are American. I think past this uh, Super Nintendo game here, which is an American uh, which is an American Mario Kart. Um, past that, they, these are all American. So these are, these are English. Uh, there, there is a way to tell. I believe they should have like a P on them. I think. Let me get this out. Um, no, no, it doesn't have anything. <laughs> you got to be like, you got to be very, very like careful because it's not very obvious. Um, yeah, this doesn't say PAL on it anywhere. Um, they, they may have like a P on them or they may say PAL. It's, it's super difficult to tell. Uh, but there's some fantastic games on the twenty six hundred. Um, Laser Quest here, great game, absolutely great. Laser Blast, I should say. Come on, uh, Laser Blast, great game. Phoenix is a great game. Gorf, come on, Galaxian, uh, Mario there, Mario Bros. The original version, twenty six hundred. We well, you know port of the arcade, I should say, but you know, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, Berserk, fantastic game. Asteroids, fantastic game. So many great games on that system. And then I have a, a bunch more games here. Uh, they're in no sort of order. Um, I'm hoping to get the uh, Retron that can play uh, Atari games at some point. Then I can get them on HD, maybe. Hey, Kamui Raid! How are you guys doing? Welcome to the stream, my friends! How are you? Ghost, Game Socks, and Maverick. And of course, Kamui, you guys are amazing. Thank you for coming along. Awesome to have you here on this live game room tour. It's going to be wacky because it's very disorganized. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for the raid so much, guys. You guys are awesome. Hey, Kamui Raid, you're awesome, my friend. Thank you so much. You guys are great. Can't thank you enough. It warms my heart to see you guys here. You guys are great. Um, game Boy. All right. Nemesis. This is a side-scrolling shooter. Wonderful game, actually. Metroid 2 Return of Samus might be hard for me to show you guys these games because they're quite disorganized <laughs> Oh, I nearly lost them gremlins 2 there and a relatively new pickup uh, Super Mario Land fantastic game fantastic um, Fortified zone another great game. These are really good games um, I just need a better way to store them space invaders now if you play this on a Super Nintendo with a Game Boy player Which I have the Game Boy player is uh, just just up there. It's kind of hard to see but it's it's way at the top there um, You will see uh, it in 16-bit, which is really cool Just calm down and stop panicking <laughs> Hey Sam, how are you doing my friend? Awesome to have you here. You guys are amazing Hey, today's your birthday game sock. That's another birthday. Congrats on your level up my friend and thank you for being here and spending your special day with me. You're amazing, my friend. Thank you all for being here. You guys are great. Awesome to have you here, Sam M. And the Kamui Raiders. You guys are great. Thank you, man. Thank you, all of you guys. Uh, Super Mario Land 2, 6 Golden Stars. I'm getting cramp in my hand that's holding the phone. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm going to have to change hands on you. Now, don't think about anything dirty when I say that. But I'm going to have to change hands on you. All right. I think I'm good to go back. All right. 
and then we've got uh, Fortress of Fear there. And then there's a couple of, uh, these are repros for Lufia and Magical magical Chase. I don't have Magical Chase, come on, that game's too expensive, and Shantae. I don't have them, I just have uh, repros. But yeah, there you go. We'll try and show these games before they all fall down. Stack these up in some way. And how are you guys doing, by the way? Thank you for joining me and thank you for raiding, my friends. You guys are awesome. You guys are absolutely awesome. Huh? Thanks, no problem, my friend. <laughs> Maybe take a break to stretch the hand. <laughs> uh, Choplifter 2, um, Sequel Choplifter, only on the Game Boy. Pretty cool. Pokemon, I said I had the Pokemon games. Pokemon Red, Pokemon Blue. Unfortunately, I didn't preserve the cases for those. Uh, Golf uh, 007, that's not bad actually. Top down game, top down game. True Lies, tell me lies, tell me sweet true lies. And then we have uh, Defender and Joust there, um, Bomberman Game Boy, uh, Donkey Kong on the Game Boy, and uh, DuckTales on the Game Boy, and then Double Dragon on the Game Boy, and at the back there we have a Japanese game, Legend, that's a role-playing game that I uh, can play. Alright, put these back. And then Game Boy Color games, Tetris DX on the Game Boy Color, Turok 2. Quest for Camelot. That game's not so, you know, not so great, but it is, you know, it is a game in my collection. R-Type DX. R-Type is fantastic. And then a bunch of Game Boy Color games. So these black cases, these will play on Game Boy Color and regular Game Boy. If they play on Game Boy Color, they'll play with a special color palette. And they're black instead of grey. Grey games only, you know, they'll play on both of them, but they'll be black and white regardless. These are Game Boy Color games. They'll only play on the Game Boy Color. And uh, you can tell that because they're transparent. Very, very of the time. Got Rayman here. We got at least one more episode recorded of the Danger Zone. Yeah, you guys are awesome. And thanks for the raid, my friends. You guys are amazing. I can't thank you enough. Honestly, guys, I can't thank you enough. I really appreciate you guys being here as I nearly knocked down these <laughs> these games. <laughs> this was uh, this was an ambitious project to do this live. <laughs> so I'm glad you guys are with me. You guys are amazing. Because I'm like, I'm looking back all the time to look at the computer screen. <laughs> you guys are great. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, and thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, uh, Zelda Oracle of Seasons. And I have Oracle of Ages as well. Thanks to the Jonin Monkey for these. Jonin Monkey, you're amazing. He uh, he hooked me up with those. And uh, and uh, uh, the the uh, the uh, uh, Link's Awakening. There we go. Which I pro which I would have probably showed you guys. I might just skip past it. It's here somewhere. Uh, Tetris. That's actually not a bad version. Paperboy. And uh, Ninja, uh, oh my goodness, we lost one. Return of the Ninja. <laughs> That's actually a pretty uh, sought after game, uh, which I'm going to try not to drop as well. Uh, <laughs> Turok. <laughs> and uh, Turok 3. Now I'm wondering what I did with the, oh no, we lost another one. We lost him, Landfall. <laughs> I'm wondering what I did with, uh, with uh, The Legend of Zelda. Did I show that earlier on or did I just like misplace it? Let me check. It'll be, a, it'll be a black cartridge wherever it is. Yeah. You know, it's not really... Oh, no, we lost some more of them. <laughs> All right, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm just going to go ahead and leave these for now, and we'll come back to them uh, later. <laughs> Game Boy Advance games. <laughs> it's so tough later. No! <laughs> I know, right? Hey... Thank you guys for being here, by the way, you're so awesome. As I said, I'm doing this holding a phone with one hand, and I'm kind of looking through it and then looking back. It's kind of really awkward. Uh, so, like, where I, sus where I suspect uh, the other Zelda game is, is probably on the floor. <laughs> That's probably where it is. Um, game Boy Advance, Wario Land 4, Star X. This is, a, this is, um, this is kind of like uh, Star Fox. It's a really cool game, I recommend it. Oh no, don't fall, no! We just lost Game Gear Shinobi for the Game Gear. <laughs> Alright, that was Game Gear Shinobi. If you don't see that, you know where it went. Um, <laughs> Game Watch Gallery Advance. <laughs> Serious Sam Advance. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons, Eye of the Beholder, another cool game. Uh, Metroid Zero Mission. Uh, Mario and Donkey Kong. Uh, there's no like, there's no like really easy way to do this, my friends. <laughs> so this is how I'm doing it. Uh, Phalanax, another cool shooter. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. Uh, Spider-Man, Ultimate Spider-Man, and some Yu-Gi-Oh games there. Uh, more Spider-Man games. Then over here we have some Pokemon games. Uh, Pokemon uh, Ruby version and Pokemon uh, Leaf Green. Not the Omega versions that you might have seen. Uh, we lost another game. 
<laughs> Final Fight 1! Breath of Fire! Oh, we lost it! <laughs> Banjo Kazooie! I can't remember what that game was, we just we just lost, but it was a Game Gear game, and whatever it was, you probably saw it earlier. Columns! Uh, Global Gladiators! And then I have uh, Alien 3! <laughs> G-Lock Air Battle! And uh, that's a game collection there, that also has columns on it. And Haley Wars, that's a really good game. And at the back here, we have a... Um, we have a version of Berserk, which is for the um, which is for the Vectrex, but it doesn't work. If that doesn't work, or my Vectrex doesn't accept cartridges. And then I'm going to take these down, <laughs> so I don't knock anything else up. <laughs> Look at the mess I've made! Oh my goodness! Oh my god! Never mind, Shinobi made it out. <laughs> he escaped. Uh, we have some uh, we have some uh, Turbo Graphics games right here, and they are uh, I haven't really got anywhere decent to put these. Uh, so we have Alien Crush, uh, Galaga 90, very good version of Galaga, Crater Maze and uh, Vigilante, and JJ and Jeff, which is a very amusing game, and Legendary Axe, kind of a copy of Golden Axe. All right, and I'm going to put those back in, in the mess. I'm going to sort that out later. No, no, don't do it. Okay, fine. All right, let's move on to the PC games and forget all about that madness. All right, I'm actually, you know, what's even worse than this? I'm standing on my sofa right now. <laughs> Smooth. All right, so Platoon. Um, this is for the uh, Spectrum, I believe, Platoon. We have the Heat Wave pack for the Commodore 64. Heat Wave, bunch of good games in there actually, bunch of good games in that collection. Um, this, this has a ton of great games in the Heat Wave collection, and kind of funny packaging as well, so I dig it. Like, there's, there's this octopus, like, attacking this computer, and this kid's like, no, I'm gonna play this, and this lady's just terrified. <laughs> terrified. Uh, for the Commodore 64, got some more games hiding. I think this is ICUPS. 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 Okay. That's a good shooter, actually. A good shooter. I'm gonna try and put that back in its place. Huh? So many things to organize after this. I know, right? I know, right, my friends? The games are sacrificing themselves. <laughs> Goodbye, cruel game room. All right, guys. Here we have Vixen for the Commodore 64. Um, I, oft I often remark about how, of the time, they'd never get away with this artwork these days. Uh, this also came with a poster. I don't have the poster, but I want to get a version that does have the poster. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to have to, like, put this aside, because otherwise I'm going to crush Bart vs. the Space Mutants on the Amiga. And this is two two floppy disks. One of them is just uh, just like a cartoon. The other one is the game. So that's pretty cool how they did that. Let's try and get that back in its place. Come on, no, it's it's gonna it's gonna crush it if I put it back there. So we'll we'll deal with that later. Don't fall. Okay. Here we have uh, Top Shots Strip Poker 2 plus the Data Disc Expansion. Ooh, plus the expansion. Uh, Captain Dynamo again for the Amiga. These are mostly Amiga games here. Gemini Wing for the Amiga, much better than the Commodore 64 version, uh, the Amiga version. Xenon for the Amiga, more shooters, I love shooters. Um, Z Out, sequel to X Out, I think, I can't remember. And then we have um, Blood Witch and the Blood Witch expansion over there. I'm going to put this back up here and hope it doesn't fall down. Stay. Stay, Vixen. Stay. Um, I've got another game here. This is uh, the uh, Legend of the Amazon Women for the Spectrum. Really cool artwork, actually. Looks like a fantasy film. I actually should leave that out so I can show these games a bit easier. A bit easier. Uh, you've got Cybernoid 2 here. This game is amazing. The music is amazing as well. And there's our Zynaps. Another great shooter. I love shooters, by the way, guys. And this is a cool this is a cool collection of Blair Witch games. So like I heard there's a new Blair Witch game and this is like the first free. Um these are actually not that bad, although the first one's a bit of a bit of a toughie to get to work. Uh Breed, this is like a really bad game, but I, I thought it was good at the time, but it's just in hindsight it's just not. It's a shooter. Uh, Dawn of War. I can't actually play this because it's got that Steam uh like it, I got it second hand and it's from Steam. So I can actually play it, but it's nice to have the special edition. Amazon Women! <laughs> Just wait to get to 3DO games. Yeah, we, we have... Oh my goodness, hiccup. I'm so excited, nobody scare me. I need to get scared by stuff falling down. It's live, everybody. Uh, Icewind Dale. Okay, so... Uh, we went past the 3DO games uh, earlier. We had uh, games like Blonde Justice and Sex for the 3DO. So these are, these are a bunch of uh, bonus uh, things for Icewind Dale 2. And these came, there's a bonus data disc here and some cards. Uh, they came with the uh, 
of a bonus pack that unfortunately didn't survive the water damage. So I really want to get this uh, bonus disc, uh, bonus pack complete again. It's one of the few things I'm missing. Uh, I've almost recovered everything else from the water damage in my game room except this. So unfortunately, um, you know, the poster and all that stuff is destroyed. But most of it, I have most of it still. Uh, over here we have a big game collection here. I think there's like a, uh, there is a, uh, a, a Zelda clone in here, which is the reason I got this. Uh, I can't remember. Uh, Guild here. Guild Universe. Atlanta. These are big box PC games. Heroes of Might and Magic. Collector's Edition. Alright, here's the Icewind Dale 2. So this is it. I think this is the adventure pack. And unfortunately, every most of the stuff in here is is wrecked. The, I sort of have the bo the box is just empty. But this, I I wanna I wanna have this complete again. Like I I've got back most of the stuff from my game collection that was damaged, but not this. Magic cards. They kind of look like Magic the Gathering cards, actually. You know, I have a lot of Magic the Gathering cards. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, um, I got this at PC World with my. Um, you reserve your copy now. Um, I don't know how rare this is, but I've only seen these in America. Um, and I got this in PC World in the UK, but I've only seen them in America. And getting them shipped over is just way too expensive. There's Mist Neverwinter Nights here. Fantastic game. This is the uh, deluxe edition. Got Doom there, uh, Rise and Fall, uh, role playing games. This is a collection of role playing games, includes uh, Neverwinter Nights, I think. Really cool. Roller Coaster Tycoon there, Titan Quest, and then uh, the Case of the Silver Earring. I, I also have this on the Wii, I think. I, I think I have this on the Wii. And then the Temple of Elemental Evil. Evil! Look at that artwork, love it. Alright, now at least I can get off my sofa. <laughs> And maybe pick up the uh, pick up the games that are on the floor. <laughs> All right, more big box games, my friends. More big box games. We have uh, the Witcher Enhanced Edition. Love this game. This is the first game where it is a strategy game, not so much uh, you know actiony as it is later on. Two worlds. Uh, this this does work. The game in the year edition has a lot of content. The console version doesn't. Baldur's Gate, love these games, absolutely love them. Baldur's Gate, this also has the expansion in it. Most of this stuff survived the uh, water damage. Baldur's Gate, Dark Alliance, two, uh, Shadows of our man. What am I saying? Dark Alliance. Dark Alliance is the PS2 versions. I believe these games have uh, been ported to the PS4 recently. Uh, try and get that back in there. Dungeon Keeper, I got this at a charity shop, real cheap. Uh, love to have the love having the big box version of that. Pool of Radiance here. This also survived the water damage. Uh, there's a figurine in there as well. Populous there. Um, great battle. Stephen King's F13. I did a video on this, guys. I did a, a comedic video about this game. It is awful. There's Icewind Dale. Love this game. Again, I think there's a PS4 version of it now. I think. Alright, now I'm going to try and sort out the sofa and sit on it so I can show you the rest of the stuff. Hey, take you later, Game Shocks. Take, catch you later, Game Shocks. I can't even talk. <laughs> Don't step on anything. Uh, appreciate you being here, my friends. Love you guys. Great game, slow one, but great. Yeah, there's lots of great games on the PC. My only problem with the PC is they're often more difficult to get working. All right, Master of Orion 2. I have Night Trap here for the PC. Uh, kind of rare, I guess. Uh, this is Nihilist. Um, I got that instead of a Diablo shareware version, and I regret it so much, uh, because when I went back to the shop that had that, it no longer existed, uh, which is, wah, wah. Phoenix here, this is sealed, actually, I've had that forever, I just haven't ever opened it for no particular reason, I don't normally keep stuff sealed, but um, I just haven't had any reason to open it, uh, Star Trek, the next generation of Final Unity, Tomb Raider there, Unfinished Business, that contains uh, extra content you don't get in the console version. There's a uh, aerial combat game, um, Vangers, I, I think that's like a first person game. There's a couple of, um, couple of PS4 special editions here, I've got uh, Blaze Blue limited edition, and Gal Gun Double Piece lives here as well. Most of my special editions live uh, elsewhere, in fact most of my special editions uh, live uh, up there. In, uh, in those containers over there, 
and uh, I won't get them out because it'll be a bit, bit, bit awkward. The original Tomb Raider it is, it is, uh, it is awkward to get to run, isn't it? Uh, most of my special editions live over there, uh, in the, up in there, and I, I won't get them. But yeah, check out the uh, Resident Evil Two uh, collector's edition up there, the big crate. I did a video on that as well, uh, so that's awesome. All right, and down the bottom here we have a couple of boxed. I already showed you my Atari games, but the, a boxed Defender. Love having that boxed. Look at that artwork. You just don't get that kind of artwork on games anymore. Uh, and on videos for that matter as well. Uh, Midnight Magic, which could be a 3 d uh, vivid interactive game, couldn't it? And then we've got Demolition Man. This is the reason I want a light gun for the 3DO, because this game is a light gun game. And then Gunslinger Collection, a bunch of light gun games for the 3DO. Uh, Mad Dog McGee, Mad Dog 2, and Crime Patrol. Sewer Shark. Sewer Shark, uh, better version than the Sega CD version. Um, you know, just it just looks better on this system. Same with Night Trap, better looking version. Just looks a lot better on the 3DO than it does on Sega CD. And exact same thing with Supreme Warrior as well. A couple of Saturn games, I don't have many Saturn games. Robotica and uh, Shining Wisdom there. Uh, not my favourite Shining game. Virtual Fighter there. And then a couple of uh, special editions. Um, Cosmic Star Heroine. Uh, Wonder Boy, uh, Use Origins, and Night Trap. So this is like this is a much better version of Night Trap on the modern PlayStation 4. Uh, this version looks a lot better. It uses it doesn't use HD like it claims it does, but it, it has like the video uh, quality because the you know the original footage no longer exists, so it has like the video extras you got on the PC version. And then uh, Christmas Nights into Dreams here. This is actually how this came. Uh, it was a promotional disc. Cool to have that. And then Nights Into Dreams as well, which was uh, my latest Patreon video. Love that game. And down the bottom here, we have... <laughs> look at... Look at this, they've gone, they've gone everywhere. All right, uh, uh, there's Zelda. There's Zelda. It's on the floor. We'll just, we'll, just put, we'll, just put, we'll just put them in a pile, along with the Game Gear games that fell on the floor as well. Crystal, uh, Crystal Warriors and, and uh, Shinobi. And hope they're all okay. <laughs> Final Fight 1. Um, I've got a bunch of loose discs here, a bunch of stuff that lost the cases. Um, just just easier to have them in there. And then a bunch of uh, bunch of Amiga games here. That maybe I'll show you guys in a little bit, actually. I'll take that out and I'll show you guys them. Um, a DVD version of uh, a Tomb Raider game. Um, which is pretty interesting, pretty interesting. I believe this takes all of its gameplay footage from one game in particular, uh, although for the life of me I can't remember which one, uh, but it's kind of interesting. And then a couple more special editions down there as well, Wonder Boy and uh, Project Zero. Apologise about the lighting here as well. Project Zero made in a black water. Like I said, most of my special editions live elsewhere. Uh, There's just a couple that happen to be over there. All right, you know what guys? I might move over to the full screen webcam. <laughs> game is really bad, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I might move over to the full screen webcam really quickly to show you those games, um, which will give me a little break for my arms as well. <laughs> All right. So I hope you guys are enjoying this thus far. This has been uh, this has definitely been an experience. All right. So. All right. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's get this back so that you guys can see me. Yeah, you know, guys, this is this is what I'm working with. <laughs> this is what I'm working with. Um, it's definitely been an experience, hasn't it, my friends? All right. So. Let me like rest my arm for a minute. How are you guys doing? It's great to have you guys here. Um, this has been this has been a lot of fun, regardless of how crazy this video has been. This has got to be my my least professional video ever because I'm just running around with a phone going, look at this, look at this. Um, let me show you some of my some of my Amiga loose disc games. Uh, so I have a bunch of them in here. It was fun. I oh, thank you guys. This has been uh this has been uh, the RE2 remake box alone. My crush made me well. Uh, <laughs> Okay, Mega Wolf is for the PC. This is uh, this is um, a a uh, what? Hey, William Armstrong, how are you doing, my friend? This is a version of um, Operation Wolf, I want to say. I I can't even remember. Um, a version of that Wolfenstein. That's what it is. Well, not Operation Wolf. It's a version of Wolfenstein, but I have no idea how to make it work. No idea. You're fine. That's good to hear, my friend. Uh, no idea how to make it work. I think you you need to run it somehow. I don't know. Um, Nightwalk for the uh, for the PC, uh, the Amiga. Sorry, the Amiga. This is an Amiga disc. Uh, Nightwalk. Did I show you guys that upside down? I, I did, didn't I? Nightwalk for the Amiga. There you go. <laughs> um, I used the music for this in my Destroying Angel of Darkness video. Pretty cool game. Uh, 
X out. Most of these are Amiga games, by the way. Another great Amiga game. Another great Amiga game. A bunch of demo discs here. So the demo discs will often have like complete games on them. So like um, often they'll have really cool games on them. This one has uh, girl actions on it. Uh, and if you want to know what girl actions is, it's actually a joke. So I was thinking about doing this for. Um, lucky there's no DRM there. I know, right? Uh, I was actually thinking about doing that. Hey, text today. How are you doing, my friend? I was actually thinking about doing that for um, one of my April Fool's videos because Girl Actions is uh, a version of Galaxian and the opening screen has like a lady's face and it's like Girl Actions and then it's and then it's like a clone of Galaxian. It's a joke. It's kind of funny. <laughs> so I might do that for an April Fool's video down the line. And then um, Zombie Apocalypse 2 is on this one. There's just a lot of great games here. Um, you know, a lot of the time these demo discs would have full programs on. Uh, so I just want, I just want to highlight that 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 back in the day, a, a lot of my games were demo discs. Uh, for the for the Amiga, for the Commodore, I had demo tapes as well. That you were getting the news agents, you know, like twenty one full games and so forth. It's great. You know, Puggles. You know, what what game is that trying to be? What what game? <laughs> what game does that look like? You know, th these are the kind of versions of a lot of games I would be playing. Six more games, and, and Transplant was one of these games as well, which is my favourite game of all time. It's actually an Amiga Shareware game, and that's Transplant. Um, Cyber Blast here, another great game. Cyber Blast is a sweet game. Um, more demo discs. Most of these I may be showing you upside down, but yeah, whatever. A bunch of arcade games on this compilation, Space Invader variants, which is pretty sweet. Four of the best games ever. Hey, Runny Egg, how you doing, my friend? Oi, oi, welcome, my friend. This has got Lamatron on it. Lamatron is an absolutely fantastic game. One of my first uh, videos, actually, MVL Plays, I did Lamatron. Love this, and it also has Asteroids on it as well. How are you doing, Runny Egg? Awesome to have you here, my friend. Awesome to have all of you guys here as I, as I take a little break from the, uh, from the phone. Uh, bubble Gun. Not Bubble Gum, Bubble Gun. And then Cannon Fodder 2. And then I have another version of Lamatron, because Lamatron is such a great game. Uh, I did a video about this way back in the day. It's a, it's a psychedelic game, to say the least. Crazy, crazy looking game. Crazy looking game. Uh, more Amiga action stuff. So most of these are games that I, uh, that I have uh, played from them. Uh, I think the rest of these might be full games. So let me check these out. We've got Lemmings. I, I said that I loved Lemmings on this system. Absolutely love Lemmings. This was a free uh, copy that came with uh, with a promotional pack. Yeah. Um, I said most of them. There's another demo disc. Huh. All good. That's my friend. Heartlight. I think this is a PC game. Uh, Heartlight. PC game. More demo discs. I lied. There's more demo discs here. But certainly some. There are some complete games that I am missing. Uh, that I'm missing the cases for. Sensible, sensible Moon there, version of Sensible Soccer. I'm doing great, Ronnie. Thanks for asking, my friend. Defender 2. I'll show that the right way around. Uh, I don't know if this one works or not, but Defender 2, great game. Um, I, I think I couldn't figure out if this worked or not. I might need a different Amiga for it. Better dead than alien. Better dead than alien. <laughs> uh, Ball for the Amiga. And apologies for the uh, sound quality, guys. I'm using the inbuilt microphone instead of the uh, microphone arm with the blue snowball I might be using because I'm having to move the computer around to show you guys other stuff. It just made it way easier that way. All right. Um, football game there. And then this one has, uh, this one has uh, Mutant Camels, another uh, Jeff Minter game. Fantastic. Fantastic game. Revenge of the Mutant Killer Camels. All right. So that was that was me getting a little break. I'm gonna have to move back. I'm gonna have to move back to the phone to show you guys the rest. But I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. This has definitely been a crazy stream. I've never I've never done anything like like this. And you know what, guys? Um, my um, my NES because it's it's been on idle. So let's get that go so I can so I can show you guys this. But all right, let's let's go back to some. Oh, I need to go back on the game as well. All right, super professional. All right, let's go back to the iPhone, my friends. Let's go back to the iPhone. Yep. This was fun. <laughs> Appreciate you guys being here, my friends. You guys are awesome. You guys are absolutely awesome. We're back to the iPhone, and I'm gonna move back to Streamlabs so I can actually read the comments. All right, all right. So let's let's go ahead and show off some loose cartridges. You guys may have been waiting. You, you guys may have been thinking. 
Oh, let me move this over my head. Oh, not that, but you may have been thinking as I try and get myself under the cord, where's the Nintendo? Where's the Nintendo, you silly MVL? All right, I've got the Nintendo. I've got you covered, my friends. We're going to do loose cartridge Nintendo first, and, we're gonna, and then we're going to move on to uh, loose cartridge Super Nintendo uh, N64, and then uh, Mega Drive, uh, which is actually really dark, so I hope you guys will be able to see it when that comes. Next, the next to a bunch of DVDs. So DVDs I might remove from the game room, to be fair, at some point. Over here, by the way, this is the uh, HD DVD drive for the, for the Xbox 360. And here's a video converter that is very, very useful. This is a SCAR to HDMI video converter. Uh, very useful. I use this for almost every video. Pound HDMI cable for PlayStation 2. Very useful as well. Uh, Star Fox little toy thing that came with um, that Switch game that I forget the name. Uh, there's a light gun up there and a Mega Drive uh, box. But anyway, guys, Nintendo games, Nintendo games, yeah. All right, let's do it, let's do it. Hey, Geronimo Alpha, how are you doing, my friend? Awesome. Jump, jump. <laughs> I had to get under the cable. <laughs> are these carts going to do a run for it? I mean, guys, guys, on on the floor, there's still, there's still the casualties of my previous... And there's the Zelda. There's the Zelda. <laughs> That I, that I couldn't figure out where it was. Where did it go? I knocked it on the floor. That's where it went. Anyway, let's go ahead and show these. So Famicom games first. Famicom is first. Uh, we have, um, you know, I can't remember the name of these games, but uh, these are really fun shooters. I, I grabbed shooters because you don't need to know uh, any other language to play them. Star Force there. Uh, and, and games like that. So Star Force, I believe, was, uh, was, a, was a really cool game. And these these are all games I do enjoy, and I play them on my Retro Freak Argus there. Great game. Uh, XZXS, another great game. And then this one, uh, Space Hunter. This is like this is like a Metroid. This is really cool, guys. Uh, so Famicom game, definitely. If you haven't heard of this, check it out. Really cool game. Uh, love love me love me some Famicom. We we'll want to pick up more of them as well because um, I can play them on the Retro Freak. All right, and you also may notice that my NES games—they're all in protective cases. I got them from my Game Vault. I did a review of my Game Vault cases as well. <laughs> Chalked outlines of them. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Slayer <laughs> starts playing Amazing Grace. No, you can't do that. We'll get copyright. <laughs> all right, so we got. Uh, this is going to be hard for me to show because they're in these, ca these in these, they're in, they're in these protective cases. Um, but uh, Alpha Mission there, I've got Blaster Master here. Love Blaster Master. So I'm not going to take these out because you want me to see them anyway because they're all in cases. Um, and then we've got uh, Boulder Dash, uh, which I love because it sounds like the word Boulder Dash. And then we've got um, Castle of Dragon. Uh, which is not in a sleeve, actually. I have some more sleeves, but uh, the, the cases need to be a different size. The uh, protective cases need to be a different size to fit them if they're in a sleeve. See, these ones are slightly bigger. So these ones I can take out and show you them. Um, and then we have uh, Cybernoid. This is, an actually, this is actually an American cartridge. Um, so I can only play that on my Retro Freak. I can't play it on my actual NES. Uh, Demon Sword. Looks like a heavy metal album, doesn't it? And over here we have... Uh, uh, Destination Earth Star. This is a really cool game because it moves between like a first-person space game and a side-scrolling. It's very interesting. Very interesting. Hey, Reese, how are you doing, my friend? My collection is huge. How did I get all of this? Time. Time is how I get all of it. So um, I actually talk about this uh, a fair bit whenever this comes up. And like, uh, there's Donkey Kong. Um, I definitely pay less money um, per month than than most people do when they when they buy games. So I only ever get games secondhand. I don't buy like new PlayStation Four games. Very very rarely do I, unless it's like Resident Evil Two where I really really want it. I ve there's Ducktales. I very very rarely buy new games, and I go around uh, in secondhand stores like charity shops, and I go around car boot sales, and I do all of that kind of stuff. Uh, Fast and I do there, and that's how I get my games. Um, and then oh, it's just over time you will accumulate a collection. That's how it happens. That's the secret. Gremlins 2 there. You might have seen that on the Game Boy earlier. Gunsmoke there. This game is fantastic. Huh? This game is absolutely fantastic. But yeah, I, I don't actually spend that much on game hunting. Uh, it's, uh, contrary to popular belief, I don't spend that much. Hide Lied. AVGN. AVGN did a video on that. <laughs> he, he even hated saying the name Hide Lied. Uh, uh, Kickle Cubicle, cool puzzle game there. Paperboy is next to it. Paperboy! 
I have a couple of boxed games as well, but they're on the other side. I'll show them next, actually. Although I will have to move my computer so I can still see the comments. Um, Power Blade. Awesome game. I I think a lot of people consider it like a hidden gem. I think it's like not a hidden gem anymore because everyone knows about it, but it's a really cool game. And over here we have Probotector. So this is uh, our version of Contra. Over here we had uh, Probotector instead. And essentially... Um, they just changed the humans to robots for censorship, and that is that is what it was. Next up, we have Rad Gravity. Totally radical, man. That's supposed to be upside down. Uh, Robocop is there as well. Robocop. Oh, it's in a case. <laughs> Sky Shark, there. Great shooter. Great shooter, Sky Shark. Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, that's not in a protective case actually, but it, considering how rare Mario and Duck Hunt is, oh boy, that should that should totally be in a case. Um, Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, as we call it over here. Regional difference there for you. Uh, cool game here. This is the, uh, the the Battle of Olympus. One of my one of my favourite games on the system right here, The Guardian Legend. Absolutely love this game. Um, game goes between a top-down shooter to um, like an RPG to a to a side-scrolling shooter. Absolutely amazing game. Absolutely amazing. All right, Wizards and Warriors, another awesome game. And then I have Zelda Two here, The Adventures of Link, in the gold cartridge. It's so gold. All right, and over here we move on to Super Nintendo. I believe this is Burning Heroes, uh, if my memory serves me right. That's, this is an RPG game. Uh, it's a Japanese, you know, Super Famicom. And then over here, over to some more Super Nintendo. Uh, again, it's actually Super Famicom. Super uh, Street Fighter 2. That game, of course, will play just fine because it's a fighting game. And then uh, we have uh, Batman Returns. I actually really like that game. Uh, side scrolling beat em up. Um, Battle Toads in Battle Maniacs. Uh, desert Strike. Strike from the Desert. Donkey Kong Country. I know Jonan really loves that game. Play Guardian Legend. Yeah, it's a really cool game, Jonan. It is an awesome game. Draken. Another great game. Uh, Equinox. Fantastic puzzle game. Fantastic. <laughs> Uh, Mystic Quest Legend. Now, this is actually part of the Final Fantasy series, uh, which is interesting. I think it had a different name overseas as well. Um, plock. Just going to plock that down there. Uh, Power Rangers. Go, go, Power Rangers. And uh, Super Mario All-Stars. These were in order, but I'm going to go put them back. Uh, piggledy, piggledy. All right. Uh, Super Mario Kart. Super uh, Super Mario World. I don't know why I couldn't see that. <laughs> Tongue tied. Um, Super Strike Gunner. Cool game. Um, super R Type. Everything's so super. Thanks for asking. The Secret Missions. Uh, Zombies. Also known as Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Fantastic game. We did this on a Danger Zone. Planning on building a big collection. What's my advice? Um, just what I said, go to charity shops. Go to charity shops. Um, go to car boot sales. And that's how you want to That's how you wanna do it. Don't, don't pay for the nose. Um, you know, you want to you wanna go get them cheap if you can. Um, Bomberman 64. For the Nintendo 64. Bomberman Hero. Castlevania. Duke Nukem 64. Not the best version, but, you know, it's still pretty cool. GoldenEye, guys. Absolute classic. Absolute classic game. Absolutely classic. Holy Magic Century. This has another name overseas, but I, I just can't remember it. I think it's like Quest 64 or something overseas. And then next to that we have Lilac Wars, another game that had a different name overseas. Uh, this game this game was also known as, of course, Star Fox. Uh, Alright. Put those back there. And move on to some more N64 under here. We have uh, Geobon. Uh, Mystical Ninja. And we have Pilot Wing 64. And here we have Quake 2. I love the Quake games. Great multiplayer games. Um, Super Mario 64. And Turok. Gotta love the Turok games. They got released recently for the Switch as well. Huh? Star Fox does have a different name over here. Yeah, it's weird. 
Uh, Yoshi Story, love this game, love it. Absolutely love Yoshi Story, actually. Um, the games I've got running on the on the television over there, I thought about having Yoshi Story running because it's uh, it's a great game. Um, but I ended up going for Mario Kart. All right, for the Master System, we have Aztec Adventure. It's an adventure in itself. Uh, here we have Blade Eagle 3D. Here's Choplifter, of course. Of course, you've got to have Choplifter. Um, Ghost House. Um, Hang on, an Astro Warrior. I really like Astro Warrior. Secret Command. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anyone. And Sonic the Hedgehog. This is a different game to the Mega Drive version. Different game. Different game. That was a copyright issue. Yeah, yeah. It, loads of weird reasons why we had different names over here. Loads of different reasons. All right. Uh, Transbot. Transforming Robot. Cool game. That's also on a on the card. Uh, Sega card as well. Uh, Super Space Invaders. You'd think that would be on a Super Nintendo, wouldn't you? And then uh, Smash TV, great game. Although not the, not great controls for that version, I have to say. The controls for the uh, for the Master System version aren't great because there aren't many buttons on the controller. All right, down here, it's starting to get dark. It's getting dark. Bring them out to the light. Come into the light. All right. Well, I'll just I'll just bring these guys out so you can see them. Uh, this is Crackdown. And this is uh, Dungeons and Dragons. And over here we have um, Fire Shark. This is a great shooter. This is a fantastic shooter. Highly recommend it. Hard though. Uh, here we have um, Growl. This is a side scrolling beat em up. This is an American only game, but Mega Drives are region free, so I can play Genesis games on my Mega Drive, no problem. Um, here's Hellfire, another great shooter. I would like to have that in the box if I could. Uh, there's Mercs. And uh, there's Shining Force, one of my favourite games of all time, Shining Force. Uh, Sword of Vermilion, another cool game. T2, the arcade game. As I understand, this is best played with a mouse. Here we have Wonder Boy in Monster World. And then lastly over here we have Ghouls and Ghosts. I actually have a boxed version of that, which I'll show you in just a moment as well. I'll go ahead and put these back, because this is extremely disorganised over here but what are you gonna do what are you gonna do all right and these other games here all right we have uh splatterhouse free this game is fantastic very gory and look at how splattered my cartridge is as well <laughs> it's crazy crazy uh that's american only actually as well um budokai interesting fighting game balls versus lakers eh. fifa yeah I mean, we're, we're on to the um, we're on to this style of cartridge, and they had a lot of those games. Um, Galahad, I believe it's called the Legend of Galahad. Uh, James Pond Two, codename Robocod, and uh, James Pond Three. Uh, Dizzy, there's a lot of Dizzy games actually. It'd be hard to track all of them down. And then over here we have Double Dragon 2. Now this this will only work on the Mega Drive Model 2 for some reason. Don't know why. My Mega Drive Model 2 is attached to the Sega CD. Uh, and Gods, which is pretty cool. And then there's one last game hiding over here. And it's a, it's a slightly broken lock-on cartridge for Sonic and Knuckles. All right, I'm going to put these back so I don't step over them. Even though I'll probably step over the uh, loose cartridges I put down on the ground. All right. And I will get up. Huh? Cartridges are weird, never understood why they're different. Well, they were manufactured by different people, so they ended up, they ended up looking different. Because um, they managed to manufacture their own cartridges. I've got to step over the wire again. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to do, I'm going to do the, um, the GameCube, the Wii, and the Wii U, the original Xbox, and the Xbox 360. I'm going to do that stuff last, um, just, just because it's easier that way, because I've got to move around the computer anyway. And I'll go ahead and show you some of the uh, some of the other retro stuff over here. Huh? No worries, Jonah. Thanks for being here, my friend. You're awesome, buddy. And I'll catch you next time. So up up the top here, we have we have um, some more uh, Amiga and uh, Commodore games. And they're actually in a really awkward place. I can't really get them down. But um, we have um, over here. We have some um, Nintendo stuff. Lots of Nintendo stuff to show you, which is awesome. Hey, no worries, Kumari. Appreciate you being here, my friend. Uh, for the Famicom, we have um, we have Zevia, Super Zevia, at that. 
Uh, this is a Famicom case. It kind of looks like a Mega Drive case, doesn't it? It's really interesting. And then we have uh, this game for the Super Famicom. Um, I don't have a box protector for this yet, but most of these are actually in box protectors, as you may notice, which keeps the, keeps the boxes very good, which is very good. Hey, Amy, Let Me Live Gaming, how are you doing, my friend? Welcome to the stream. I, I had the crazy idea to do a live game room tour, so we'll see how it goes. Thanks for being here, my friend. It's awesome to have you here. All right, we've got the Adventures of Lolo, Lolo 2, uh, for the NES in the box. Great puzzle game. Digger T-Rock, another great game in the box. Gauntlet 2, and these box protectors really help. They really help with this. Pac-Man in the box. For the Nintendo. Helps keep them organised on the shelf as well. Solar Jetman as well. Solstice, a great puzzle game. Um, previous game to Equinox actually. Star Wars. And then we're moving into some box Super Nintendo. How are you doing Amy? You okay thanks? Lovely to see all the games. Yeah, thank you. This is, uh, I've been wanting to do this for a while and I've been a bit, uh, I'd had, had a bit of anxiety about doing this but ultimately it's like, eh. You know, wh whatever. If if this video ends up being a train wreck, at least it'll be a funny train wreck. <laughs> at least, at least, at least, you guys hopefully have had have had fun looking at me be silly. Um, Arkanoid here. This isn't this isn't a proper um, case for this. This isn't a proper case, but um, nevertheless, that's how I, that's how I actually got that. Um, Alien Free in the Super Nintendo case in the box. I have these box protectors, like I mentioned, just keeps them good. Uh, Donkey Kong sixty four is up here for no particular reason. Um, oop. I just because it didn't, it didn't really fit on the shelf with the rest of them. Um, but there you go. So I'm just going to put that back up there, or up there somewhere. Um, next up we have Cybernator. This is a cool game. Um, side scroller. First Samurai, another cool side scroller. Not the first of its kind though. Ghoul Patrol sequel. Sequel to Zombies Ate My Neighbors. You guys might not have heard this. This is a dream room. I thank you, my friends. You know, compared to other collectors, it's actually a fairly small uh, game collection. But um, I am glad to have kept it going. Um, Illusion of Time, also known as Illusion of Gaia to other people uh, overseas. So a uh, really good RPG, really awesome. And uh, here we have Secret of Evermore, one of the mana games. Star Wing, again, not called Star Fox. Uh, we had different names for these games over here. It was called Starwing. Um, the more you know has the FX chip as well. And Street Racer in the box as well. And actually the game room is, is now a lot better set up than it used to be. Um, I used to have um, a big behind me where, the, um, where, these, where these shelves were. I used to have um, a big desk and storage unit set up, and that's where a lot of my videos were filmed. That's why you would see, um, that's why you used to see the PS2 games behind me. Uh, and then I, 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 I took that out and I ended up bringing in the sofa. <laughs> what the F is Starwing? <laughs> I know, right? Uh, yep, Starwing is Star Fox over here. Um, uh, but then I got, I got rid of that, I, I, I tore it up. I, I, I tore it down and then I, I got a sofa in instead of the gaming chair I used to have and now it and now it feels a lot better to be in the game room. It feels a lot more of a livable space. Um, Excalibur 2097 for the Super Nintendo. And now we're on to um it, I would say we're on to N64, but I do have uh I do have this uh okay, so this is Aiden Chronicles, this is an RPG for the N64. Um there's another Super Nintendo game hiding out here that shouldn't be over here or whatever. <laughs> Uh, Super Outstate, which has a different name overseas, and now we're on to N64. All right, my I get my when stuff is disorganized, but I, I put it away very crazily. You know, I, I reorganized the game room. Um, oh, the PS2 collection, yeah. So I I thought so for people overseas, this is what European PS2 games look like. We'll be do we'll be showing them next actually. Um, this is what European PS2 games look like in a similar way to how our PS1 games have big cases. Because RPS1 games have bigger manuals, so if you take a look at like Dino Crisis, it's really thick compared to something like a CD case. So if I grab, um, if I grab like Steel Machine here for the CDI, it is it is much thicker for the PlayStation because they had bigger manuals, which means it takes up a lot more shelf space, which is really annoying. Um, but that's just the way it was. But our PlayStation, our PlayStation um, Two games were in these white cases, which was really weird. Um, 
But yeah, that, that's just how they came over here. It's a, it's a very bizarre, baffling decision, but that's just how they look. Um, but I, I digress. On to, on to N64. I'm going to take the top ones off first, even though it's not alphabetically correct. But again, most of these are in these cases. Helps protect them. I did a review of these uh, protector cases for My Game Vault uh, on the channel. Jet Force Gemini, great game. Absolutely great game. Over here we have Mario 64. Uh, which is currently in the uh, N64 on the screen right now. And then we have Mario Tennis. And then uh, Banjo-Kazooie, great game. Body Harvest, another fantastic game. Pokemon Stadium had so much fun on this. Clefairy says was my favourite mini game. Absolutely love it. Also breaks easy. They do, they do actually. Uh, those jewel cases. Perfect Dark, I upgraded the box to this recently because for some reason I drew on my original one I don't know why I think I just wanted to test a pen um, Space Station Silicon Valley uh, Star Wars Shadows of the Empire The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time I had the choice to get the gold variant when that came out and I didn't uh, I regret that Turok 2 Seeds of Evil in the box Xena Warrior Princess and then we move on to some Master System so I'm going to go ahead and put uh, put these games back not necessarily in the order that they're meant to be, but, you know, in some sort of order. Um, Alright, Alex Kid, The Lost Stars for the Master System. Crystal Dragon, Dragon Crystal rather. Cool game, randomised RPG. Global Defence, the Mega Cartridge. Love the artwork for these. Uh, there's just uh, a Master System game hanging out here for no reason, impossible mission. And then over here we have uh, Operation Wolf. Needs the light phaser for that one. Power Strike, relatively rare game, I think. Shooter, Rastan, Shadow Dancer, The Legend of Shinobi, or The Secret of Shinobi, I forget. Uh, Shadow of the Beast, look at that artwork. Heavy metal, right? Heavy metal. Space Harrier, The Ninja. Uh, that, this game is completely different in Japan, by the way. It's a, it's a uh, Saladi Ninja, and the game looks very different as well. <laughs> I want yeah for some reason I drew on my N64 um box I don't know why Time Soldiers this is a really cool game top down shooter uh Wonder Boy I have no re I have no idea why I did it no idea whatsoever Aladdin for the Mega Drive now Mega Drive always always you guys might know it as Genesis but we call it Mega Drive um Alicia Dragoon fantastic game you know again another game that might have been a hidden gem a while ago but it's kind of not a hidden gem now but it's it's great arcade classics arrow flash in the box guys arrow flash fantastic shooter blades of vengeance this has really weird sticker damage so the sticker is the only part that has color and <laughs> the rest of it is black and white no idea why castlevania the new generation also known as castlevania bloodlines um, fantastic game. Gr glad to have it in the box. Fairly pricey. Classic collection. This is how I have uh, Gunstar Heroes, actually. Uh, this only came out in Europe, and it's got Gunstar Heroes on it. Way cheaper than getting Gunstar Heroes by itself. So, uh, that's it. That's a tip for you guys. Uh, cool spot. And we have Gaia Res here. In the Japanese case, but this is an American cartridge. Uh, wonderful shooter. Absolutely wonderful game. Uh, amazing game. Highly recommend it. Decap attack. If all else fails, use your head as a weapon. If all else fails. I'm like aliens to Americans, probably. <laughs> Alright, Galaxy Force 2. Golden Axe 2. Hook. Bring me Peter Pan. Jewel Master. Kid Charmeleon. Last Battle. Mega Bomberman. Mega games, lots of great games in this. This is how I have Streets of Rage and Golden Axe. Um, Alien Storm here on Mega on Mega Games Free. Mega Man, The Wily Wars. This is a repo cartridge, but now I have it on the um, now I have it on the Mega Drive Mini. It's actually pretty cool. Mega Swiv. More Mega Drive games here. Cyborg Justice, Justice for the Cyborgs. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Mystic Defender. Normie's Beach Babe or Rama. Yep. Thelios, another cool shooter. Revolution X. That's a shooter, but you can't use a gun on it, which is really annoying. It happens like the Brits. <laughs> Rolling Thunder 2. 
I know Kamui is very jealous of Rolling Thunder 2. Um, Space Harrier 2. Alright. And then I hope you guys can see this because it's looking kind of dark. As I put... Oh, I'm going to put my hands all in front of the, of the thing. <laughs> I like, annoyed myself by putting my hand in front of the, uh, in front of the phone. And now I'm like, uh, whatever, I'll just put my hand in front a lot. Alright, Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, you might not be able to see this well, there's not a lot of light here. Uh, Sonic 2. And then Splatterhouse 2 in the box. In the box, my friends. Um, Streets of Rage 2 in the box. Strider. Subterranea. Super Hide Lide. Yeah. The Chaos Engine, which is what we call Soldier of Fortune. Um, by great game, absolutely fantastic game. Thunder Force. X Men. Xenon 2, Mega Blast. And then Ghouls and Ghosts, a Japanese version, which is really cool. This looks amazing. Japanese in the box. And then this is like a, a weird repo cartridge of a bunch of games. Um, eh. And then, as you guys can see, you might be able to see, you might not be able to see, but there's a bunch of like Commodore games and stuff like that back here. These are double stacked, and there's, there's a lot of them here. Um, I probably will just skim past these, um, but there's, there's tons of great games here. Tons of great games. Used to own Rolling Thunder Arcade Cabinet, that's awesome, man. Moon Crestor, the real Ghostbusters, this is a portly arcade game. And back here we have some more games. You might not be able to see this because it's not showing up on my camera. Um, Storm Warrior. Insanity Fight. Last Mission. Savage. This has great music. Renegade. She Vampires. Yep, that's a thing. And then Sidewinder 2. Silkworm. Great game. Starquake, Street Warriors, Storm, Leviathan, Isometric Shooter, One Man and His Droid, this is what the music came from, from Invader Load, I love it, absolutely love it, absolutely love it, I, I, I tell a lie actually, these are actually triple stacked, because there's these, and then there's even more, which you might not be able to see, but there's even more, <laughs> So I won't be able to show you all of them because it's just too dark in that corner, unfortunately. But there's lots of great, there's lots of great games here, like Madness, and tons and tons of good stuff. Crazy, crazy comets. I mean, come on. There's there's so many great games here, so many. Uh, there's another version of Legends of the Amazon one, which, which I showed earlier. Different artwork. Huh? But I'll go put these uh, put these back up, sort of. There's Gemini Wing. The uh, Commodore version isn't as good as the Amiga version. Here's Ghostbusters, actually. I do want to talk about Ghostbusters um, because this has Invader Load as the loading game, and I absolutely love that. I love it so much. It's just amazing. Um, all right, I'll try and put these back in some sort of order. And then in this corner here, I, I just have a sort of a lot of storage. Um, here I have some tools because you do need tools if you're going to fix old games and stuff. And then in here I have a load of controllers. I'm just going to show you guys a little bit. I'm not going to dig for it. But there's a load, a load of controllers in there, light guns and stuff, all kinds of stuff. Um, you know, it's it's a huge box. I'm not going to go for it uh, right now. And then over here, where you can see the lead actually of what I'm using, um, you know, I have I have like a load of stuff like wires and stuff under the sofa and then more controllers this is all full of controllers all right all right my friends let me let me try and restore some order to this restore some order all right so playstation 2 next is what i will show you and all of the stuff next to that which also has some more pc stuff and oh man i'm gonna have to switch hands on you guys because my arm is getting tired all right PlayStation 2. So PlayStation 2 looks like this over here, and uh, at least it's a lot brighter here. So you can see here that I've got uh, like the Resident Evil 2 Collector's Edition, bunch of Collector's Editions up here, um, really cool. Uh, but as you can see, the 
these have a very different look to the, what, what they will have overseas. Very different, very different. And I have these going from uh, right to left for the most part. And I, at one stage I, I, switch, I switch them around. So we'll go through these. First of all, we have a 007 collection uh, dot .hack games. These are really cool RPGs. Uh, dot .hack infection and dot .hack mutation. All right, great, great looking games. Fantastic role playing games. Kind of um, role playing games inside of a role playing game as well. Um, 1945 1 and 2 the arcade game, Age of Empires. Alright, Alone in the Dark Arc, Twilight of the Spirits, a fantastic game. Area 51, Atlantis Free. Okay, here's Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Great, great games, absolutely great. And Dark Alliance 2, these are amazing games. Uh, Barbarian here, Beyond Good and Evil, Black. Uh, breath of. Uh, uh, lost it. Is Buffy. Breath of Fire Dragon Core is what I saw a second ago. <laughs> and then Burnout 2. And then Canis Carmen Edit, which is actually a bully. That's just what it was called over here. Again, kind of just weird names. Weird names. Capcom Classics Collection. Castlevania. Carmen San Diego. Say that ten times twice. Chaos Legion! Champions of Nora are very much like uh, very much like um, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, and I also have Return to Arms as well. Clock Tower 3, fantastic game. Haunting Grounds was like almost going to be a Clock Tower game as well. Uh, Code of the Samurai, Commandos 2, Conflict Global Defense, Crazy Taxi. Absolutely love Crazy Taxi, if I can get it out. Love it. Crisis Zone, which doesn't want to come out either. Uh, Alright, Crimson Tears, a cool role-playing game. There's Crisis Zone. So this is this is kind of like Time Crisis, this game. It's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Dark Cloud here. And the sequel, Dark Chronicle, or as it's known elsewhere, Dark Cloud 2. Dead or Alive 2. Deadly Strike. Demon Summoner. Demolition Girl! It's a giant lady. Destroy All Humans and the second one. Deus X. Devil May Cry games here. Get back in there. Die Hard Vendetta. Dino Stalker. Which I'll try and get out as well. Dino Stalker is one of the gun survivor games like Resident Evil Survivor. Uh, except it's Dino Crisis instead. Dirge of Cerberus, Final Fantasy 7. Disgaea. DNA, Dark Native Apostle. Then some of the Budokai games. Dragon Quest, Journey of the Cursed King. Dragon Rage. Dragon the Ancient Gate. And here we have Alien vs Predator. Which I'm just going to move over here because it makes it easier to do this. And Draken Guard 1 and 2. And then we move on to Dynasty Warriors games. Dynasty Warriors games are fantastic. Absolutely love them. I love them so much. These games are amazing. And Dynasty Tactics as well. All right, guys, I'm going to take a quick break, my friends, and then we'll do we'll go through the rest of the PlayStation Two and all that good stuff. Dragon Quest Eight is one of your favorite of all time. Awesome! I'm going to be right back, guys. Don't go anywhere. I will be right back.
All right, we are back, my friends. Thanks for sticking with me during that break. And we shall kick it back off from where we left off. So, where were we? We were at uh, Dynasty Warriors, right? So, the next one to show is End Game, which is another really cool light gun shooter. Um, you guys probably haven't heard of this one, but it's, it's very much like Time Crisis. In fact, it's exactly like Time Crisis. Uh, Enter the Matrix, another great game. Eternal Quest and Eternal Ring, eh, they're not so good, but there are certainly games. Eve of Extinction there, interesting game, very Star Wars looking character there. Fight Night games there, Escape from Monkey Island, really cool game. Um, great that they brought that to like modern systems at the time as well. Extermination, then you have Fallout here. Uh, which is really cool. This is like a Baldur's Gate style, like top-down version of a of a uh, Fallout game, which is pretty cool. Fight Box is a kind of mediocre game. Fighting Angels, <laughs> talking about fight. Oh boy, this is uh, an interesting game. Um, I mean, yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll do it for a uh, April Fools at some point. Maybe not. Um, so similar how I did, uh, similar to how I did um, um, that volleyball game. Final Fantasy X. And Final Fantasy X 2, Frank Herbert's Dune. This is probably the worst Dune game I've ever played. Uh, Freak Out, very interesting game, very interesting game. Is back! Thanks for being here, guys, you guys are amazing. Future Tactics, this is a uh, tactical game. G Surfers, Genji, Ghost Hunter, really good game, actually, really good uh, horror game. Huh. Gift, interesting game, platformer, Gladiator, Global Defense Force, God of War, love the God of War games, I have the special edition here of God of War 2, Godai, Gran Turismo games, and then uh, Grand Theft Auto games here, I have a double pack as well, and this really cool uh, cheat disc, which is really sweet. Um, from uh, HMV. All right, Grandia 2, Guncom 2, another light gun, light gun game, kind of cool. Gunfighter 2: Revenge of Jesse James, great game, great game. Love my light gun games. Gungrave and Half Life, best version of Half Life actually. Um, funnily enough, best version on a console. All right, more PS2. I have a lot of PS2, and it's it's what I was saying earlier, like picking up the cheap stuff. PS2, there's so many great games on it, and it's such a cheap system right now to collect for. So I very much recommend it. And I spoke about it earlier from the Clock Tower series, Haunting Ground. I believe it started out life as a um, a Clock Tower game. Hurdy gurdy, great survival horror by the way. Haunting Grounds, Haven, Call of the King, yeah. Headhunter, Heroes of Might and Magic, Hidden Invasion, and I have a I this is a game I enjoyed back in the day, so I have a, I have a, a variant to it, case variant, sometimes I will have case variants, Hunter the Reckoning, Wayward, and Television Lives, great collection of games, absolutely great collection of games right there, J Cocoon 2, great game, I spoke about it earlier, Jet Iron GP, 007 games, Judge Dredd, Kessen, Tactical Games as part of the Dice War style, Chaos Zone, Kingdom Hearts, gotta get playing those games at some point, Tomb Raider Games, this is a special edition which is really cool, Largo Winch, Legend of the Dragon, Legion, The Legend of Excalibur, Lego Games, uh, Mafia there, Akai Kingdom, Again, part of the uh, Disgaea series, I believe. Pretty cool game, role playing. Um, Mako Show, Demon Sword, Mafia, Manic Camille, Alchemist Alvarez, Max Payne, and Max Payne 2. Mr. No Life will be happy to see those. Maximo, love the Maximo games, they're absolutely fantastic. These are fantastic games, I can't say any more about them other than they're amazing. Um, if you haven't heard of the Maximo games, check them out. Uh, Metal Gear Solid games, Metal Slug 3, great game. 
Mission Impossible. That was not that bad. Mobile Light Force 2. Again, Mobile Light Force is an IP that doesn't exist. This is a completely different game that was um, turned into this game. It's, it's, a, it's a shooter. It's a good shooter. A bunch of Mortal Kombat games here and Mortal Kombat bonus discs. Um, Mist. Need for Speed. New York Race, which is inspired by the Fifth Element. Ninja Assault. And Obscure, another survival horror game. Portal Runner here. And Mr. Bean, based on the cartoon. Odin Spear. I believe there's a uh, modern version of this. Uni. Great game. I really love this game, actually. Hey, no worries, Diapo. Catch you later, my friend. Awesome to have you here. Onimusha Free. Onimusha Warlords. Sign of Sorcery. Another game I had back in the day that I'm very fond of. Persona 4. Pilot Down Behind Enemy Lines. Pirates. Power Rangers. Super Legends. Super Legends, by the way. Prince of Persia Trilogy. Primal. And a case variant for Primal as well, because there was a collector's edition version. Project Eden. Project Minerva. Tactical game. A Snowblind in the projects. But we've got to talk about Project Zero. Love these games. The Tormented right there, number three. Cyveria, fantastic shooter. Quake Free Revolution. R Type Final. Finally, some R Type. Uh -huh. Ratchet and Clank 2. Rayman. Realm of the Dead, a really cool game. Red Dead Revolver. Red Faction and Red Faction 2. Red Ninja. Resident Evil 4. And Resident Evil Code Veronica X, Dead Aim, part of the Gun Survivor series, Resident Evil Outbreak, Resident Evil Survivor 2, Code Veronica, very unusual game there, Rise to Honor, Robotech, and Rogue Galaxy. Alright, here we have Shifters, which I believe is part of the Might and Magic game series, and Silent Hill 2, finally I got the art case for this, so I've got it complete. And over here we have Rumble Roses, which uses a Smackdown, uh, Smackdown vs. Raw engine, or Here Comes the Pain. Here, it uses the Here Comes the Pain engine uh, from the WWF game, or WWE game, I should say. Uh, Room, Rhaegar, Samurai Warriors, Savage Skies. These guys are Savage Scaler, which I initially thought was a ripoff of uh, Spyro. Second Sight, Sega Classics. There's a Sega Classic collection on anything. Shadow Hearts, great game, Shadow Hearts. Absolutely great games. Shadow of Rome. Shadow Man, Second Coming. Shadow of Memories, also known as Shadow of Destiny overseas. And um, Digital Devil Saga. There's some more of those on the next uh, next stack I'm going to show you guys. It's even more PlayStation 2 now. So much PlayStation 2. So much. Hey, Chris, how you doing, my friend? A room tour, I know, right? It's a, it's a massive video, actually. Going through all of this stuff. Oh boy. Oh boy. But I'm glad you guys are here for it. You guys are amazing. So I said there's more Digital Devil Saga games. And there are indeed. Um, I also have special editions. So there's a special edition of number two. Uh, which includes a, a, a disc there. Which is pretty sweet. And here we have uh, Lucifer Kors. Shin Megami Tensei. And Shinobi right here. And here's Silent Hill 3. I'm going to take this out so it's easy to take some of these games out. Uh, Silent Hill Origins. Slide 2 and here's Soldier of Fortune Sonic Gems Collection Soul Calibur games here Soul Reaver 2 and Space Invaders Anniversary hope I'm well I'm well my friend thanks for being here awesome to have you guys here this Space Invaders Anniversary is a weird game but you know it's a thing that happened Special Forces that's a simple 2000 game, actually. So was uh, Demolition Girl. Sphinx. Spy Fiction. Cool game, actually. SSX. Love the SSX games. Star Ocean Till the End of Time. And the bonus disc as well. Star Trek Voyager. Elite Force. I love this game on the PC. Star Wars Starfighter. Summoner. Oh, no, no, Summoner's next. But this, yeah, I played this, um, I played this game before. <laughs> it's, it's an amusing game. I actually got quite invested into it when I was playing it. It's pretty funny. It's another game I've been thinking about, thinking about for April Fools. Not sure what I will actually go with. 
Siberia 2, Siphon Filter, Sword of Destiny, Tekken games there, Tenchu, how are you doing by the way Chris, you're awesome, PS2 is the best console, PS2 is very good, Tetris Worlds, here we have The Getaway, and The Bouncer, I actually got this game uh, with my console I think, it's a side scrolling beat em up, um, pretty cool, I, it's just a shame there weren't more beat em up games on the system, uh, the getaway, uh, Path of Neo, No One Lives Forever, first person game, uh, The Red Star, The Seed, The Sims, The Snow Queen's Quest, European exclusive if you if you care, it's got, um, it's got Richard O'Brien's voice in it, <laughs> interesting game, The Thing, survival horror, pretty sweet game, Time Crisis 2, love Time Crisis games, absolutely love them, Time Crisis 3, Time Splitters, Love these Time Splits games, First Person Shooters, Time Splits 2, and Future Perfect, of course. Here's a random uh, DVD region thing for the PlayStation 2 that I have. Just makes it easy to play games from other areas. Tony Hawk's there, loads of Tony Hawk's games. Uh, Turok. Twin Caliber, you doing well? That's good to hear, my friend. Awesome to hear you doing well. Uh, Twisted Metal. And then we have Underworld. I'm going to go put this up here so it's easy to move these games out. Unlimited Saga, this is a role playing game. Got this from Blockbuster. You guys remember Blockbuster? That's where I got that from. Urban Chaos, Valkyrie Profile 2, Vampire Knight, this is a light gun shooter that not many people talk about. Vex, Beautiful Joe, Virtual Fighter 4, there's many editions of that actually. Uh, Warhammer game Fire Warrior. Warriors Orochi, more Dynasty Warriors style games. That's like a combination of um, Dynasty Warriors and uh, Samurai Warriors. Way of the Samurai, Wild Arms Free, World War Zero. You guys know I was, I was in World War Z, the film. Uh, Smackdown, Shut Your Mouth. Here Comes the Pain, that's the engine Rumble Roses was based on. There you go, got there in the end. Smackdown vs. War. Smackdown vs. War 2006. I actually really liked these games back in the day. I'm not too fond of the new ones. Uh, racing game there, Extreme Racing, X Squad, Use the Ark of Natishtim, Zone of the Enders, and I have the uh, special edition of Zone of the Enders 2, the second run I should say. Alright, PS3 now, we have um, Arcana 4, Assassin's Creed, I've got a bunch of Assassin's Creed games there, um, Tilu uh, Ay 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 Aisha, there you go, got there in the end, and uh, another one of those games, uh, Beyond Two Souls, Blades of Time, actually a sequel to X-Blades, which I have on the Xbox, I uh, really like what they did with the art style there, uh, Deadly Premonition Director's Cut, this is the version to get of this as well, by the way guys, the Director's Cut, um, actually I want to get X-Blades on, um, on, uh, on the PS3 as well, because it has bonus content, Disgaea, Doctor Who, haven't played this yet actually, Dragon Age, people have been advising me to play Dragon Age games, Final Fantasy, Folklore, really, really good game, Folklore, Genji, God of War, Heavenly Sword, Heavy Rain, gotta play this at some point, Kingdom Hearts, 1.5 Remix, there's like a PS4 version that has like a lot of them on these days as well, alright, more PS3 over here, my friends, it's good to know you're doing well, Chris, appreciate you being here, my friend. Ninja Gaiden Sigma, Leia, Little Big Planet, Medal of Honor. Eh, I actually don't know why this is here. Eh. <laughs> I was I was gonna trade in some of my um, some of my shooter games that I wasn't really wanting. Uh, Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. You know, I'm pretty sure I was given that uh, Medal of Honor game um, with the PlayStation 3 that I got. Pain. This is a kind of interesting game. Ready, aim, get set for pain. You kind of catapult your enemies into combat. Ratchet and Clank, the quest for booty. Gotta get that booty. Resident Evil 5, Gold Edition. Resistance. It, uh, PS3 has always been a pain to collect. Yeah. Resistance 3. Resistance Fall of Man. Sega Mega Drive Ultimate Collection. Like I said before, um, Sega Collection and everything. By the way, guys, I don't hate Medal of Honor games, it's just I'm probably not going to play it. Sorcery. Star Trek. 
uh, Tales of Greece. And then I've got a different version as well. This is like North American PS3 variants. Tales of Zilla 2 in a cool steelbook case. Tekken Hybrid. House of the Dead Overkill. I haven't played the PS3 version actually with the move. And we played it on the Wii when I did the Danger Zone episode with myself and Jonan. The Last of Us. I want to get the PS4 version of that. Lord of the Rings. The Shoot. Uh, actually a really cool move game, kind of a light gun shooter. Not that bad actually, I recommend it. Tomb Raider Trilogy, Time and Eternity, Time Crisis, Trinity, Trinity Universe, Uncharted Games, awesome game series. I will be streaming them soon. And then the Game of the Year edition of, like, uh, like I said, I have variants if there's something different on them. Untold, uh, Legends, Dark Kingdom, Valkyrie Chronicles, White Knight, I hear this game is actually not that good, so maybe it should be on the floor, <laughs> uh, Book of Spells, a move game, PlayStation 4, Alien Isolation, the Ripley edition has loads of extra content on it, Antiquity Lost, that I've learned to run games, as I believe I did, and as did Wine Hearts, Batman, Arkham Knight, Game of the Year edition, there is a Game of the Year edition, it does exist, there it is, <laughs> it doesn't have the content on the disc though. Blaze Blue, Borderlands, Born, Bound by Flame, Caldarius, Cosmic Star Heroin, Crash Bandicoot. I had to get that. I didn't get the Spyro edition though, because it wasn't all on the disc. Um, Corixium Sigma, Deception, Dimension Drive, and Doom. Now these go down uh, down to the next row actually. You guys may be wondering why these go down instead of across. Um, it's plus this is where the um, where the camera catches me for the stream. So I wanted to have I wanted to have this filled rather than empty like the next one is. Uh, so the, the next one across from there actually has my Xbox One and Switch. I'll show you guys that in just a moment. But let me show you these uh, the rest of the PS4 first. So I have um, Double Switch, Dragon Quest. Dragon's Lair Trilogy, very happy to have that. Final Fantasy X and X2, I have gotten this to work now. I, I, I bought this two times previously and couldn't get it to work. I uh, bought, bought a brand new copy and left it in the PlayStation for uh, it long enough until the disc stopped spinning. Now it seems to work. Um, Final Fantasy XV, this is the Steelbook case. Type OHD Steelbook case. Uh, Gal Gun, uh, Game Tengoku. Ghost Blade HD, got that from Play Asia. Um, Grand Theft Auto 5. Horizon Zero Dawn Complete. Lara Croft and the Temple of Osiris. Layers of Fear, great game, streamed that before. Life is Strange. Mighty Number no. 9. Um, Mitsugurki, um, Mitsurugi Kamari Hikai. Uh, uh, Night Trap. PS4 version is pretty good, Oceanhorn. Rainbow Moon and Rainbow Skies, really recommend these if you guys love your turn-based tactical RPGs. Very much recommend them. Red Dead Redemption 2, I ended up getting the Ultimate Edition. Resident Evil 2, uh, as you guys know I have the Collector's Edition, the massive, massive case for it is way up there. It's a big, big, big old case. Put back down to earth with these. Resident Evil uh, 7 Biohazard, this is a lenticular case um, Revenant Saga Some of the Tomb Raider reboot games quite like these uh, Mega Drive collection of course as a Sega collection on everything Tomb Raider Shadow more Tomb Raider games, Shantae um, Risky's Revenge, unfortunately this case got kind of damaged from opening um, I, I think limited run games need to like possibly get their cases to be a bit sturdier because some of mine broke previously. There's another one from Limited Run, Sky Force Anniversary. Um, Sonic there. Spider Man. Super Hydroa. Evil Within 1. And The Evil Within 2. Tomb Raider remakes. Love them, actually, love them. Uh, this is a bit busted. Nathan Drake Collection. This is probably the versions I will stream. Until Dawn. Velocity 2X, 
Wild Guns Reloaded, Super Nintendo game. Much easier to get your hands on that than the Super Nintendo game. Uh, Windjammers, Wonder Boy Returns, Wonder Boy, and World of Final Fantasy. Uh, 2K19, I got that for a Danger Zone video. Uh, Yeez, Origins, alright. And then at the bottom here, there's a bunch of PC games, which are kind of awkward to show you guys. Um, but they're, they're right at the bottom here. And I will do my best to show you, but these are uh, DVD cased DVD, uh, PC games, if you know what I mean. I'll pick out, I'll pick out some, some good ones, but they're kind of awkward to get to where they are. There's uh, Bad Day LA, that's a pretty good one. I'll pick out some of the, uh, some of the ones that I uh, really enjoy actually. Uh, Freelancer. Freelancer is an absolutely fantastic game, guys. This game is amazing. Hey, no worries, no worries, Reese. Appreciate you being here, my friend. Um, Half Life games, you know, Half Life, Half Life Two. I also have that on the Xbox. Half Life Generation, loads of Half Life games. Here's uh, here's a uh, Memento Mori. I believe I have. Uh, do I have two case variants of that? Yeah, I have two case variants. That's pretty cool. Here's Metal Hearts Replicants Revenge, Rampage rather. Cool game, cool game. Neuro Hunter, another another interesting game. Uh, there's loose copies of the Neverwinter Nights. So there you go. Here's Payday. That's another very interesting game. Postal, pretty cool game. Serious Sam, of course you got every Serious Sam. Space Tripper, actually a really, really good game. Shoot 'em up game. Really good game. And we've got to, we've got to talk about Vampire the Masquerade. Bloodlines. And of course over here we have Will Rock. I wanna rock. Alright. How could I how could I not talk about Unreal Tournament actually? Unreal Tournament games and Warcraft. Uh, great games, great games. Alright. Hey Daniel, how you doing, my friend? All right, let me let me move this over so that I can show the back row now, <laughs> so that I can show the back row to you guys. I want to rock. I want to roll on a rock with you guys. All right, try not to step on the cases I put down as well. Okay, so this is going to test the limit, really test the limit of my uh, the length of my cable. <laughs> on my super super professional setup uh, we're gonna go right the way back here so first of all I have a have case uh, have boxes for like light guns you probably can't see it there's a gun con there micro Uzi uh, one of my one of my favorite light guns here there's the um, Sega virtual gun there um, I probably can't bring it out without knocking stuff down but there's the predator 2 which I which I do use it's pretty good and uh, the micro Uzi is really strange actually. It looks like an actual Uzi. It looks like it looks like it does there. Some boxes of stuff up the top there. So there's the Game Boy, uh, the Super Game Boy, which you add to the Game Boy. Um, CC4 Mini Retro Freak, Congo, uh, Donkey Kong with bongos and stuff like that. The um, the box for the um, Game Boy Player and the um, the Game Genie and stuff like that. As well as some uh, various controls. So I also have some CDs here, uh, some some CDs and stuff. But uh, but not really, you know. That's may not may not remain in the game room. Actually, I need to, need to find a better place for that. There's light guns. Reasons uh, the light guns are the reason the cartridges are trying to escape. <laughs> probably, probably. All right. So this is at the very limit of my cord. So we'll see how this works out. Um, here we have, uh, and I'm also on tiptoes. <laughs> so we've got we got Donkey Konga. Uh, Eternal Darkness, great game. These are GameCube, by the way. Final Fantasy games. We've got Godzilla here, and one of my favourite games on the system, Harvest Moon. It's a wonderful life. Luigi's Mansion, another fantastic game. Mario Kart Double Dash. This had a Zelda bonus disc in it. I took the sticker off. I had to recreate it because I took it off for some stupid reason, and I actually didn't remember it was in there actually without the sticker because that's the only thing on the European version of this. That's the only thing that tells you that the disc is in there. It's really stupid. Ah, uh, but there you go. Mario Power Tennis and Mario Smash Football. Men in Black. 
twin snakes. Snake! Snake! Metroid. Resident Evil games here. These, this is the uh, remake of the first one. Then you have like uh, better versions of 2 and 3 on the GameCube. You also have Zero as well, which is really cool. Sonic Adventures. Rogue Squadron here was really cool. Really cool game. And uh, over here you have Rebel Strike. And Star Fox Adventures. Super Mario Sunshine. Super Smash Bros. Melee. This is uh, in a platinum case, but these games are like too expensive uh, to to just get a case variant upgrade. I would like a nicer case, but you know, whatever. I actually managed to find an empty case of this one because this got water damaged. But I actually found an empty case and was able to, in the same way as uh, Silent Hill 2, that I just found an empty case in a shop. I was like, can you sell me this empty case? Uh, so I have, I I got a case upgrade on that and fixed it. Day of Reckoning. Day of Reckoning 2 is the one to get. Very, very good um, wrestling game. I want a Wii. A boy in his blob. Alien Syndrome. There's a Batman game here. Relatively new one. So it's going to be a new one to my collection, I should say. Conduit 2. And we have Cursed Mountain. Dangerous Hunts. Careful about saying that word. Uh, Dead Space. Death Junior. Destroy All Humans. Dragon Blade. There's also weird games on the Wii. Dragon Quest. This is actually a good game. Far Cry. Wow, this is... I'm holding this up pretty high. It's killing my neck. F Final Fantasy. <laughs> As a Fire Emblem, this is a very sought after game. Very sought after. Radiant Dawn. Great game. I don't have the GameCube one though. The GameCube one is so expensive. Fragile Dreams. Ghost Squad. That's actually a pretty cool game. Goldeneye there, not very good actually. Guilty Gear XX Accent Core Plus. This is a cool collection of light gun games. Really cool. For the Wii, the Wii was very good for light gun games. Underrated for that. There's a Harvest Moon game there. Due on the Grudge. I streamed this recently. Terrible cover, but great game. Uh, great game. I like it anyway. Link's Crossbow Trading. A Little King's Story. That Little King. Mad World. Mario Kart. You can use the GameCube controls on that actually. Mario Party. Metal Slug Anthology. Fantastic. Fantastic collection. This is all my top 10 pickups I think. Uh, last time round. Metroid games there. And then Knights. Alright, at least now I'm not looking up so much. Alright. Kill my neck a bit less. No more heroes. Okami. I got this specifically for this case. It looked very nice. Onichan Bara. Bikini Zombie Slayers. Yep, need I say more. Pandora's Tower. Fantastic game. And look at the black case as well. Lovely. Looks lovely, doesn't it? This is a great game. Need more shovelware? <laughs> That's what the Wii's all about, right? I try not to get shovelware if I can help it, or games that I just ha don't have much interest in playing. That's why I kind of like uh, got rid of. I got a lot of Call of Duty games, a lot of Battlefield games, and a lot of um, a lot of those type of games recently. And I just don't really play those type of games. Now I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them. I'm just saying I don't play them. Um, so, so I'm going to move them along. I think I'll trade them, trade them with somebody. That's why I took, that's why I took one of them down earlier. So like I had a lot of them that I got with, a, got with systems. I just figured I don't have a lot of shelf space. I'm probably not going to hold on to them. But Pandora's Tower, fantastic game. Um, Red Steel, terrible controls on this game. Red Steel Tools a bit. Uh, Red Steel Two is a bit better. You need a Wii Motion Plus. If you play this game, it, it plays a video about how to install your Wii Motion Plus every single time you play it. Resident Evil 4, actually very good with the Wii controls. Uh, Resident Evil games here. Rygar. Sakura Wars. Sherlock Holmes, The Silver Earring. 
Sin and Punishment. SNK, fantastic collection. They're absolutely fantastic. Soul Calibur Legends. Tales of Symphonia. Tenchu. And a Tetris game. Tetris! There's Conduit. Why is it here? Because it's the Conduit. So alphabetically it has to go here. And of course, The House of the Dead. One and two. Fantastic games. And The House of the Dead Overkill. Myself and Jonan played this on uh, one of the episodes of The Danger Zone. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. The Legend of Zelda. Skyward Sword. Twilight Princess. Tournament of Heroes. Western Heroes. Nice light gun star shooter, actually. We play. Uh, I actually don't know if this should be in the collection. It's not as good as Wii Sports. Wii Sports Resort. Bayonetta. And Bayonetta 2 on the uh, Wii U. Actually very underrated system. Project Zero 2 Made in a Blackwater. Quite rare game. That's a physical copy of it. Quite rare game. Mainly what you like. Yeah, you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta grab what you like. Like, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with games that I don't like. I just don't like them, so I'm probably not gonna have them in my collection. That's just how it is. Star Fox Guard, physical version. I got this with a Star Fox Zero Special Edition. And here it is. Myself and Jonin did this on um, the Danger Zone. Absolutely hated it. The controls are so bad. It, this could be an amazing game if it wasn't for these controls. Oh my goodness, We're, I haven't played it since, we're going to have to, we're going to have to do it justice at some point. I mean, it's, it's Star Fox, but it's so bad. Uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, I got this for the Wii U uh, when this game came out, loved it, absolutely loved it. Uh, Wind Waker HD, streamed that a while ago, was amazing. Uh, Tokyo Sessions uh, FE, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X, fantastic game, fantastic game, getting a port to the Switch actually, Zombie U. Alright, original Xbox, 13, it's a first person shooter, 187, ride or die, vehicle combat, alter ego, it's a platform, alter echo I should say, uh, Zurich, here we have Backyard Wrestling and Backyard Wrestling 2, fantastic games actually, quite, uh, quite fast paced, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2, Blade 2, Blinks the Time Sweep, a pretty good platformer, Barbarian, Batman Rise of Zinzu, Blood Rain, that's backwards compatible on the Xbox One, BMXXX, oh my, Breakdown, also backwards compatible, Brute Force, when all else fails, Brothers in Arms, eh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, cool game actually, Burnout, Conan, uh, European exclusive I think this one, I can't remember, one of them is, Conflict Desert Storm, and Conflict Vietnam. Those are actually pretty fun. Conquer, Live and Reloaded, not as good as the original. Uh, Constantine, the original is so expensive these days. I have it on the Rare Replay collection on the Xbox One, which reminds me, I actually skipped showing you guys the Xbox One and the Switch, so someone, someone remind me and I'll, I'll go and show you guys those at the end. Because uh, I, I totally forgot, I, I, I went right past them. Counter Strike, Crimson Sea, Crimson Skies, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Dark Summit, Dark Watch, Dead or Alive 3, Dead or Alive Ultimate, Compilation there, Defender, Destroy All Humans, Deus X, Dino Crisis, this one's in space, when all those fails put it in space, Dungeons and Dragons games, quite like those, Enclave role playing game, Enter the Matrix. Often the original Xbox version would have better graphics, um, but I prefer the PlayStation uh, 2 controller. Evil Dead, Fistful of Boomstick. Fable. Fable. Uh, this has the Lost Chapters included. I don't know if I ever tell you, but I love the original Xbox. Fahrenheit, also known as Indigo Prophecy overseas. Uh, Gabba was in here earlier, actually. That's pretty badass. And Pixel Game Squad. Those guys are great. Um, Forgotten Realms, Demon Stone. Freedom Fighters. From Russia with Love, Galleon, Gauntlet, Onomusha, Ghostmaster, this is like The Sims but with ghosts I guess, Grabbed by the Ghoulies, fantastic game, absolutely fantastic by Rare, Gun, I want to get that for the 360, uh, Gun Metal, Gun Valkyrie, Run and Gun Shooter, I think, 
007 games. Halo. Halo 2 multiplayer map. Why isn't this fitting back in there? Oh, okay. There's a loose disc here. That's why. Uh, there's my Halo 2 special edition disc. Um, because uh, my, my steel book case um, was destroyed by water damage. So I need to replace that. Hitman 2. Hulk. Hunter 2 The Reckoning. Indiana Jones. Jade Empire. Limited edition. And 007 games again. Alright, let's go put this in here. Here. Move on to the next ones. We have Mercenaries, Just Cause, Kingdom Under Fire, Legacy of Khan games here, Leisure Suit Larry, Magna Cum Laude. I'm sure they only called it that so they could put cum in the name. Mace Griffin Bounty Hunter, Manhunt. This has a reprodu reproduction uh, case from CX, which is annoying. Max Payne, again, Max Payne versions of these uh, look significantly better. Shame there was never a 360 version of Max Payne 2, um, like there was with um, Half-Life 2. Oddworld, Metal Gear Solid 2, Arcade Treasures from Midway. These are fantastic compilations that you guys should check out. Motocross Mania 3, Narc, New Legends, Ninja Gaiden. I want to get Ninja Gaiden Black. Oddworld. Alright. Half-Life 2. I do have this on the 360, but I also wanted the uh, original Xbox One as well, because I love the game that much. Panzer Dragoon Auto. Pariah. Playboy the Mansion. Um, it's kind of like The Sims. It's not actually that good. Prince of Persia. Moving on to Project Zero. Fantastic, fantastic game series. I absolutely love these games. Um, the Xbox has better graphics for them, so it's probably the version to get, Project Zero 2. Absolutely love them. Great games, great games. PsyOps. Quantum Redshift. Red Faction 2. And Wolfenstein there. Rogue Ops. Scrapland. Second Sight. Shenmue 2 had an Xbox version. Serious Sam. And my Dreamcast doesn't work anymore, so... Uh, Silent Hill 2, Inner Fears. Very good version of it. Silent Hill 4, The Room. Soldier of Fortune. 2, Double Helix. Soul Calibur 2. Spawn Armageddon. Spider-Man. Splinter Cell. SSX. Tricky is one of my favourite games. Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic, great, great role-playing game. And the sequel to all, which I didn't like as much. Jedi Knight Academy, and Knight 2 Jedi Outcast, decent pickup. State of Emergency, it has those games on the PC back in the day as well. Stolen, um, Street Fighter Collection, Sudokai, SWAT, Taito Legends. I didn't have the case for this for quite a while, but I managed to get another case for it. Uh, Tao Feng. I think I got this with the Xbox, and it's a fighting game with uh, destructible clothing physics. Uh, talking about losing some clothing, the boss tail. Very amusing, uh, very amusing RPG. The Incredibles. Lord of the Rings. The Punisher. Great game, great game. The Suffering and Ties That Bind. Terminator. Thief. Time Splitters, Time Splitters Future Perfect, and Tony Hawk's Underground. Total Overdose, Tron 2.0 Killer App, originally had that on the PC. True Crime, Ultimate Spider Man, Unreal Championship, it's more Unreal there, and Van Helsing. Not that bad actually, plays very much like, uh, plays very much like Devil May Cry. Without Warning. Worms 3D, not as good as it is on PC. And a raw wrestling game. Hey, Cactus316, how you doing, my friend? Good to see you. Good to see you. What's up, buddy? Awesome to have you here, my friend. Hunter the Reckoning is awesome. Yeah, it is, it is, it is. Thanks for being here, guys. You guys are awesome. Uh, WrestleMania, X-Men, Legends, X-Men Legends 2, and X-Men X2, Wolverine's Revenge. Wolverine's Revenge was another game as well. Uh, Jaeger, or Jaeger. 
And now we're on to Xbox 360 with 007 Legends. I think the Wii U version is the one you want to get for this because the Skyfall mission is not on this. And you can't download it anymore because the game is like two minutes old. Um, Atai Katana, a very cool shooter. Very, very good shooter, actually. Uh, very cool. A lot of good shooters on the Xbox 360. Un 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 underrated for them. Alan Wake, great game. I want to get a special edition of that. Alice, Madness Returns. Um, I got to download the original American McGee's Alice when I put this in my system. I don't know if that's necessarily for everyone, but I, I got to, so that was pretty cool. Uh, Aliens vs. Predator. Alone in the Dark. I'm just going to move that over there so I can get to these more easily. Alpha Protocol. Anarchy Reigns. Angry Birds Trilogy. Not as bad as I thought they would be. Bunch of Assassin's Creed games. Um, Batman. Game of the Year Edition for Arkham Asylum. Love these. I love these games. Um, Game of the Year Edition for Arkham City. And I actually have a case variant for that because I love them that much. That much. And then I have a Game of the Year Edition for... Well, the Complete Edition for Ar uh, Arkham Origins. But unfortunately it downloads the extra content. It's not on the disc. Doing good. Playing a few games. Dropping by for a bit. Appreciate you being here, my friends. You're awesome. Hey, no worries, Amy. Thanks for being here, my friends. And I'll catch you next time, buddy. You're awesome. Thanks for being here, my friends. Thank you so much. Uh, Binary Domain. Bionic Commando. Blaze Blue. More Blaze Blue there. And then Blue Dragon, a great RPG on the system. Borderlands. I need to get onto the Borderland games, actually. Um, I know Trevor's a big fan of the Borderland games. Brutal Legend. Bullet Witch. I would say this is kind of like a, um, uh, kind of like a, um, uh, I, I've forgotten it now, that lady that has guns on her shoes. Bayonetta, there you go. Um, Bullet Storm. Actually, no, it's not like that at all, what am I saying? <laughs> um, Epic Edition of Bullet Storm, which is nothing different except has access to a Gears of War 3 demo. Um, Bully. So they finally start to call it Bully instead of Canis Come and Edit. Uh, scholarship edition is, is much better at widescreen and everything. Capcom Digital Collection, bunch of great games on this. When I did my top 10 um, games uh, last time, uh, this was on it, and I got copyright, <laughs> visual copyright for one of the games. On I think it was on this. But there you go. Conan, another Conan game. Um, I, 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 I honestly can't remember what's the difference between them. Uh, Condemned and Condemned 2, even more Condemned. Dark, which is ironically bright. Uh, Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. Dark Void, which is ironically bright. Dark Siders here. That's a recent... I got this with a bunch of um, Call of Duty games and uh, all of that kind of stuff uh, with, the, with the console I got recently, so I haven't played that yet. Uh, Dark Star 1. Terrible controls on that game. Dead Island. And the Dead Island double pack. Here's my special edition of um, Dead Rising 2 with the Zombrax. Pretty cool. It also has this little tour guide thing as well uh, to, the, to them all, which is very cool. Dead Space and Dead Space 2. And Dark Premonition. But as I said, the PS3 version of the Director's Cut is one to have. Deadliest Warriors. I got this from America, but it still plays on my console. Death Smiles Deluxe Edition. Absolutely fantastic game. Good shooter. And a bunch of extra stuff on that as well. Deuce X, Augmented Edition. I'm just going to drop that down here. Dodd on Apache Resurrection, another fantastic shooter. Fantastic shooter. I very much recommend it. If you love your shooters. Doom 3 BFG Edition. Dragon Age 2. Dreamcast Collection. Dynasty Warriors Gundam and Gundam 2. And then Dynasty Warriors Strike Force 2. There's so many of those games. Earth Defense Force. And Eat Ledge. The, uh, the return of Max Matt Hazard. Who actually never existed before he, he returned. <laughs> they just kind of made him up. They just kind of made him up, my friends. More Xbox games here. As we move along. So I'll show you some more of those. First up we have Enchanted Arms. This, so the system does have a lot of good RPGs. Uh, Enslaved. Odyssey to the West. Here we have Eternal Sonata. Fable, this is the Anniversary Edition. Fable 2. Game of the Year Edition. 
Fable 3, there's a collector's edition of that, but it doesn't really have anything extra. Fable The Journey, which is awful on the connect. You just end up trotting the whole time. Um, Fallout 3 Game of the Year edition. Here is the uh, Fallout 3 New Vegas Ultimate edition. Of course, they wanted to very much confuse you on editions. Um, Final Fantasy here. And I also have um, the other one. I just wanted these for the um, outer cases, actually. Fist of the North Star, Ken's Rage. Fracture, very interesting game. Frontline Mission Evolved. Game of Thrones. Not the Telltale game. Gears of War Double Pack. And uh, Gears of War 2 Limited Edition. And Golden Axe Beast Rider. Not that bad, actually. Not that bad. And for Total 5. As you saw, I have that on a different console anyway. Um, five, wait, do I have two copies of 5? No, this is, this is 4. I'm so stupid. I couldn't see it because it was like in the darkness. Um... Yeah, Grand Theft Auto 4 and Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, 4 actually, you know, funny enough actually that we should talk about it. Um, this this disc doesn't work. Um, I lost my, like some of my Grand Theft Auto games. I have no idea where they went. Uh, that disc doesn't work. I need to get it cleaned or whatever. Um, this one I have um, I have um, on, on another system. Um, there we have the uh, episodes from Liberty City. Guilty Gear 2 Overture, which is not so great. And some Halo games. You've got to have Halo games. Here's a remake of like number one or remaster or what have you. There's three. And then I, I, I honestly don't know where the series goes. ODST 4. I'm so confused. Hitman. Hunted the Reckoning. The Demon Fall, I should say. Different game series. Now I'm getting all confused with numbers and titles here. Infinite Undiscovery. Great RPG. Invision. Here we have Inversion. This case looks really nice, actually, and that's kind of how the game plays, which is pretty cool. Clive Barker's Jericho. Clive Barker did, Clive Barker did Hellraiser, one of my favourite horror films. Just Cause, here, for the 360. Cameo, good game. Kane and Lynch 2, the limited edition. Kingo Zero. Killer is Dead, very, very interesting game. Kingdom on Fire. And then A Kingdom of Alamar Reckoning. Very good game. I know that uh, Mystic1111 really likes this game. Uh, Knight's Contract. L.A. Noir. I streamed this. It took forever, but not quite as long as Breath of the Wild. Uh, this is the complete edition where they add all the extra content in, uh, which is pretty cool. Tomb Raider Anniversary here. Left for Dead. Game of the Year edition. Left for Dead 2. 2 important you do it that way around over here, by the way, <laughs> in England. The other ways to swear in England. Uh, Lollipop Chainsaw Norma, Norma, Nordic Edition. There you go, I can talk. Uh, actually, the Nordic Edition content, I got the second hand, was not used. So I was able to use it, which is pretty cool. Lost Odyssey, another RPG. I mean, people say that the PS3 had way more RPGs. Um, that I mean, that is kind of true. But the Xbox did have its RPGs. You know, they it did have some exclusives. But yeah, <laughs> PS3 did have way more, to be fair. Um, Max Payne 3. Mercenaries, Metro here, I believe these were remastered as well on the PS4, Mind Jack, and Mini Ninjas, oh they're so tiny, Mirror's Edge, very cool game, Monster Madness, Battle for Suburbia, it's kind of played a bit like Gauntlet, Namco Museum Virtual Arcade, bunch of good games on that, Never Dead, another very interesting game, pretty cool, 99 Nights, another RPG, Ninja Blade, kind of like a uh, hack and slash, like quick time elements of Orcs and Men. Oni Chan Bara, Bikini Samurai Squad. Um, yep, because, yeah, naturally. Um, Sexy Samurai Sisters. Um, yeah, okay, enough, enough said. Enough said. More Xbox 360 here. Xbox 360 is a good system to pick up right now because it's really cheap. So. If you were thinking about it, it's a good time to invest in Xbox 360 while it is so cheap. Here we have Perfect Dark uh, Zero in the Steelbook. Persona 4 Arena. Portal 2. Fantastic game. Prey. Prince of Persia. And I have a case variant as well because I'm crazy. Project Slippy. Oh, okay, this is, this is the... Earlier I thought it was a different game that I was talking about, uh, but it's actually this one. Um, this has terrible, terrible controls for a, a flying game. I, can't, I think it was Dark Star 1 I was thinking of, but maybe they both do. Uh, 
Pure and Lego Batman the video game. Rage, this is all the rage. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption, uh, game of the year edition. I actually got a um, a platinum or whatever they call it, player's choice, the, the silver case version of this um, with uh, with that Xbox 360, the Gears of War one that I got. Um, so one of my discs got scratched in this, or I should say scratched, actually cracked. Um, so I can change them if I need to, uh, if it gets broken. So I'm gonna keep that one around, the spare. Um, Red Faction Gorilla, remember me. Resident Evil, Resonance of Fate, no, uh, cool game there, not a great game, right to hell Retribution 1%, probably the Metacritic score of that game, or the Rotten Tomatoes score, whatever have you, if it was a film, um, uh, uh, one of the worst games of all time, by popular opinion. Rise of Nightmares, I haven't played this yet, but it is a Kinect game, it's because the Kinect is such a such a <laughs> such a pain to set up, but it actually does look kind of cool. Um, would be interesting to do for a video down the line at some point, maybe. Risen and Risen 2 Dark Waters. Rumble Roses XX, when just Rumble Roses isn't enough. They did another game, actually. Um, cool games, wrestling games. Samurai Warriors there. Samurai Warriors 2. And over here we have uh, Section 8. Sega Superstar Tennis, Shadows of the Damned, Silent Hill Homecoming, Singularity, Sleeping Dog, still wake him up, Sonic Unleashed, he gets kind of um, gets kind of a grisly appearance in this, but not unlike, uh, I mean, that, that's still nowhere near the, re the design they had in the film, isn't it? But thankfully they redesigned him. Uh, Sonic All-Star Races Transformed, Soul Calibur, South Park The Stick of Truth. This version, I believe, is censored in Europe, so a lot of the stuff isn't in it. Um, Splatter House. Star Trek... Star Wars, what am I saying? Star Wars The Force Unleashed. <laughs> Stranglehold. With uh, Chow Young Fat. <laughs> I'm not gonna say uh, I'm not I'm not gonna say uh, John Woo again because his name is on the cover. Uh, John Woo, of course, fantastic, um, fantastic um, filmmaker. Um, did Crash and Tiger Hidden Dragon, <laughs> but uh, I got mixed up because I just read what was on the cover last time around. Tales of Vesperia. Tales of Game. There's so many of those I get confused about them as well. Um, the Darkness. Uh, Darkness 2. Dead Rising Collection. So I'm actually, I actually lost my Dead Rising 1, but I have it on this as well as Dead Rising uh, Case Zero and uh, Case West as well. So I got to get, uh, one of the first games I streamed was Dead Rising. So I've got to, got to, got to get into doing those at some point. Oblivion, of course, Elder Scrolls games. I recently got the um, Skyrim promotional copy, which is pretty cool. More Skyrim, and of course you've got to have the edition with everything on it. Skyrim, the Legendary Edition. Here we have the Last Remnant, and ironically we're getting close to the Last Remnants of the Xbox 360. The Orange Box has Half-Life 2 and Episode 2, Team Fortress and Portal. Portal is fantastic, um, very very good collection. Shame they didn't make more episodes. The Saboteur. Uh, you can't download the uh, Midnight Pass on this, which is really annoying. I believe the PC version you can. Um, the game isn't even that old. Uh, Serious Sam Collection, another great collection. The Witcher 2, and this this includes a bunch of extra stuff on this one as well. It's so pretty cool. TNA. TNA was so good in this period. Their Kurt Angle, uh, Samoa Joe, AJ Styles, uh, Fantastic wrestling company, you know, and, and Sting and Booker T and uh, Big Papa Pump. They were doing so well. All right, Two Human talking about doing two. Doing <laughs> um, Tomb Raider Underworld there, limited edition, and then a triple pack of uh, Trials Limbo and Splosion Man. Here we have Two Worlds and Two Worlds Two, and the Ultimate Stealth triple pack. And then Vampire Rain, which is a game that I'm not good at because it's stealth. And uh, Vanquish, with a cool lenticular cover. Uh, Venitica. A Warhammer game here. 
Space Marine. And then over here we have um, Warriors Orochi and Warriors Orochi 2. And then Wet, which is an absolutely fantastic game. Um, very cool. Very cool game. Mr. No Life uh, loves that game quite a lot. And then down here we have the last of the Xbox uh, 360 Worms Collection. 2K games, a couple of those for the system. Uh, All Stars, which is very, very good because the uh, action on that is ridiculous. And we have uh, X Blades, um, which I have the uh, which I have the, the sequel to that, uh, Blades of the Time. Very, very interesting game. And uh, Xbox Live collections there. They're pretty, they're pretty cool to have those and Xbox Live Unplugged. And then I have uh, Yaiba Ninja Gaiden Z Special Edition. And then U Star 2, which unfortunately can't add any scenes onto it. I was hoping that I would be able to add some scenes to that uh, so that I could have more content. Uh, I, all right. With that said, guys, we've, we've gone over just about everything of the game room. This has been so much fun. Uh, I'm just going to show you the last remnants of it uh, in just a moment as we move over to uh, the full screen webcam and I try not to try not to knock down anything on my way because there's so many wires all around the place all right my friends and of course we just did the Xbox 360 and Xbox One this was a lot of fun a lot of fun let me go ahead and move my console although I have made a big mess with everything I've been everything I've been throwing around let me move over to the uh, let me move over to the uh, <laughs> to the, the webcam there we go all right my friends all right wow okay that was that was that was quite quite a thing using this <laughs> that was quite a thing well and have we really been live for nearly three hours oh my goodness no wonder my arm's tired wow okay okay with that said my friends with that said i've only got a couple more games left to show you guys the uh the xbox one and the um and the uh Nintendo Switch, which were right next to me, I showed them. I showed them a little bit earlier, uh, a little bit earlier. They're just over there, and um, you know, I kind of, I kind of forgot about them, so I might as well show you them now. Um, all right. So first up, we have uh, Too Dark, which is not too dark to see with this webcam. <laughs> uh, Alien Isolation. So I had this on the Xbox uh, One. I later decided to get it for the um, for the for the PS4. Um, just because I prefer the, play, the PS4 controller, you know, I preferred the Xbox 360 controller. And actually, you know, where, under the under the desk to my right is where I have my portables. But I also have a lot of my controllers under there as well uh, that I want quick access to. And the, the place is covered in covered in cables, but normally there's way more cables around the place. <laughs> to be honest, than controllers just on the floor. Um, I um, yeah, I, I I liked the Xbox 360 controller over the PS3 controller. Um, but for some reason, the Xbox One controller, I didn't like it as much. I prefer the PS4 controller. Don't know why. So I ended up getting any in isolation on the PS4 down the line. Um, Dead Rising 3. Love this game series. Don't have, don't have 4 yet, actually. Um, Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Kind of a, a, a redo of um, the first one. Pretty cool. Goat Simulator The Bundle. Bundle on there. Might get this for the PS4 down the line as well. Not sure. Um, Halo: The Master Chief Collection. This also came in like a big set. Uh, I got a digital version of this with my Xbox One when I bought it, but I wanted a physical copy, even though most of it downloads, so it's hardly physical. Fallout 4. Um, great game. Also includes on the Xbox. Fallout 3 um, is included for free. It says there. Um, which is which is really cool actually. So you can play that on your Xbox One as well. Um, I I like this game a lot, but I didn't like it as much as uh, Fallout 3. I don't know. Maybe it's I maybe it was too much of the same thing. Who knows? But regardless, um, still a cool game though. Still a cool game. Another game I might want to get on the uh, on the PS4 at some point. Uh, Rare Replay. So I spoke of this earlier. The Rare Replay Collection. Bunch of great games on this, including Grab by the Ghoulies, Perfect Dark, and uh, Conker's uh, Bad Fur Day. A ton, a ton of great games on this uh, that you can grab. Uh, absolutely fantastic collection. If you don't have it, it's superb value for money. I very much recommend it. 
the Rare Replay collection. I'm mean, three games on one disc, and I believe they're sold at less than uh, less than regular retail price anyway. So if you're looking for a, an absolute great collection, I very much recommend the Rare Replay collection, and it is only on Xbox One. So uh, certainly a great game to get for the system. Uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. I believe this came out as an exclusive for the Xbox One initially, so that was another reason why I was um, very much into into getting it for that. But then late, uh, later down the line, it came out for the um, PS4, so I was able to grab myself a copy on the PS4, which is my preferred way of playing it, because that was actually a more complete edition when it came out as well. Um, awkward, but that's how it ended up going. Uh, but I originally played it, or got it, for the uh, Xbox One. Then Sunset Overdrive. Um, I think I got this in CEX for like under £5. This is an Xbox One exclusive. I believe it still is at this time, uh, but I think the, the developers, Insomniac, um, wanted, wanted to bring this to the other systems. Um, this is a really cool game. I'd say it's like a, a combination of um, a combination of like Tony Hawk's, <laughs> you know, Tony Hawk's and a hack and slash. Hey, how you doing, Daniel? You're 90% over to your laptop. You just need to finish up a few things. Nice. Appreciate you being here, my friend. Are we just going over the last couple of games? I can't, I can't believe I've been going for three hours, actually. It really doesn't feel like three hours. But yeah, my arms are really tired because I've been going all over the place. I'm watching back this video. This must be a crazy video because, you know, I was using, I was using a phone <laughs> to go over and show everything and kind of looking over my back to see what the, what the comments were. Um, so yeah, this will, this will be a crazy this will be a crazy uh, thing to look back on. And next up, we have the Walking Dead season two. I believe I had the other Walking Dead games with games with gold, um, but um, I kind of want physical copies of all of them. You know, it's really awkward actually because these are some of the games that I'm not sure if if all of the games are on the disc. So it may be that you might not be able to possibly get physical versions of the uh, Walking Dead Telltale games. Um, because they have downloadable content that might not be there anymore, unfortunately. That's that's a big bummer, and that's just a thing that happens with digital content. But we're in this weird limbo stage now, aren't we, with modern games, where half the content might not be on the disc, so you don't know what you're getting when you pay for it. So if you buy, if you get stuff secondhand, you're kind of you're in trouble. Um, even if you get stuff new, sometimes. But what are you gonna do? Our next up is is a, is a great game, The Witcher Free Wild Hunt. This came with a soundtrack. Uh, as well, bonus content. Very awesome game. Um, I just haven't had the time to put the time into it that it deserves. Um, there's a Game of the Year edition of this. Actually, there's a Game of the Year edition of uh, Fallout 4 as well, now I mention it. Both games that I really, really should uh, grab the PS4 Game of the Year edition of, or complete editions of. Both games I want to grab for the PS4 down the line. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to go ahead and go the full the full get a PS4 version of this just to get the soundtrack again, so I have that edition. That would be a bit crazy, I, I think. But I want to get the game the edition of this on PS4 and the same with Fallout 4. I need to find some room to add a fridge to my game room. <laughs> I have no room. I, I barely have much room. Uh, there's a little bit of space on the on the shelves to my right. Um, where where the um, you know I'll just I'll just move over and show you. Uh, I have a little bit of space there, um, and then behind me there's a little bit of space, and then over here I have a little bit of space. But other than that, I'm in a, I'm in a bit of a bind. I'm in a bit of a bind for space. So it's like I think I could fit some more of um, some more of these the, like the ones behind me, the single the single ones. Like there's a bunch of boxes there, and there's my CDs that probably don't need to be there. There's a couple of DVDs on this side and on this side that probably don't need to be in the game room. I can move them somewhere else. Um, so I could add maybe a couple more shelves, but then I'm in. Tr but then I'm like, oh, what am I going to do? So like I said, guys, I'm thinking. I'm not saying I'm going to, but I'm thinking about splitting the game room up. Maybe old and new. Maybe uh, maybe console and PC. Hey, Gaz loves games. How you doing, my friend? Appreciate you being here, buddy. Maybe, but that's like something down the line. Because previously, I think I said that I was thinking about moving, um, and I just it, it worked out that I redesigned the game room as it is, so I have the sofa, which is way more comfortable, and I can you know watch films and stuff in the game room now. It's a lot better, and I can you know I, I can relax, I can sit back and relax and play, which I couldn't do with my old setup. I was kind of pressed against this area here um, on an office chair, <laughs> but it's much better now. Um, so yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I need to. I've got room for a bit, but then I'm going to need to do something. I'm going to need to do something. Maybe like double stack everything. We'll see. We'll see. 
Uh, next up, we have some WWE games. I, I just got this one because it has Sting in it. Love Sting and WCW had a pretty, pretty bad WWE run, unfortunately. And then um, 2K16, I think I got this because it had Terminator in it. It really got me because I didn't I didn't like these the 2K games that much. They didn't really add that much. They were like regular sports games where they just added a little bit. And I felt like they could have done more. Um, it's a shame. All right. And then lastly, I'm going to show you guys the, the Switch games. I don't have many Switch games either. Uh, like I don't have many Xbox Ones. I don't have many Switch games. How are you doing, guys, by the way, my friend? Uh, but this is a collection that will be growing. You know, I think my PlayStation 4 uh, collection is one of my fastest growing collections. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. The Switch, you know, if, if, if new Switch games weren't so expensive, and like I said earlier, I try not to buy new games because if you just wait, you're getting cheaper. But that's not necessarily the case with Nintendo games. So I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to go with uh, with Switch collecting. But, you know, th this is this is the lot I've got thus far. And I will show you them. Uh, first up, we have Fire Emblem Warriors. Essentially, it's Dynasty Warriors, but Fire Emblem. It's not bad. It's not a bad game. I actually I actually quite like it. It uses the Fire the fire Emblem weapon system, where you need to use the right weapon and stuff. You're good. Proper Zs after a long week. I get that, my friend. But glad to have you here. Uh, golf Story. I got this on Limited Run. This is a golf RPG. You heard that right. This is a golf RPG. Actually pretty good. Uh, pretty cool game. I am Setsuna. As I, I drop, yeah, I've dropped so much stuff on the floor in this stream. It's amazing if anything will still work. Um, I am Setsuna. Um, this was an Asian release, but it will play in English on your in, on your English Switch. Uh, so if you want to grab this game, you don't need to wait for a localized version. If you want a physical copy, just grab the Asian version. It will work. I did a video about that actually uh, on my channel, so you can you can check that out to proof if you don't believe me that will play in English. Mercenary Kings. I also got this from Limited Run. Uh, at the time, the only physical version was a Switch, and then a little while later, there was a PS4 physical version. So, um, one of the reasons I've sort of, you know, watching Limited Run is like, you never know when there's going to be another physical version of a game coming out, and it's pretty expensive to get the stuff over from the United States, as I said previously. So, um, you know, I like getting games from Limited Run. But if they're going to get other releases, like some of the Shantae games and some of the Wonder Boy games, I, I got from Limited Run and then they got other releases later on. So, like, you know, I appreciate that there's going to be a limited edition version, but I, I'm only going to grab it if it's going to be the only version, you know. <laughs> he attempted to order the Blasphemous Physical uh, LR pre-order. <laughs> Import tax, yeah, that is a that is a thing. You know, on uh, on Play Asia, uh, on Play Asia, it's not normally so bad. Uh, but with limited run, you have to pay a lot for postage. But they do include import tax. Uh, they do include import on it, so you don't have to pay that. So that's one good thing. Um, Pokemon, let's go, Pikachu, let's go, let's go. You know, I didn't show you guys earlier. I have the controller here somewhere. There we go. I have the little Pokeball controller for this. I didn't hate it. As you can see, I actually I, I modded this. I took out the uh, I took out the little um, whatever it was, the little the little holder on the back. I took it out so that I could hold it because otherwise I couldn't hold it. It was just too awkward. Um, didn't don't hate this, you know. I've 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 heard that you can't really stream Pokemon. I wouldn't mind streaming Pokemon. I'm not sure if you can or you can. It's a similar situation of how I feel about Konami, uh, but I, I wouldn't mind streaming it if you could. Um, but there's Let's Go Pikachu. Didn't hate it. I'm not. Uh, I know a lot of people are, are feeling a bit annoyed about the new Pokemon game because of um, because of reasons. <laughs> but there you go. Strictly Limited. I got a game from Strictly Limited actually. Um, I think it was. Uh, I think it was Wonder Boy. I think it was Wonder Boy. It might have been. It might be Monster Boy or Wonder Boy. I can't remember. I did a. I did a unboxing for it actually on the channel. And uh, and that was cool actually. So they were pretty good. No board attacks. Yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty good. Yeah, I did an I did an unboxing for one of the for one of their games actually, and they showed up in the stream actually, and uh, and the CD case broke, so it was pretty funny. Uh, I did that live as well. You know, I do unboxings live now. Um, SNK 40th anniversary collection. Uh, another. I believe I got this from Prinny Bomb. This is a limited edition. The limited editions are all up in in uh, in, uh, in, a, in boxes above the shelves. Um, this was another case of I should have just waited. Because I got the Switch version because there wasn't going to be any other versions at the time. And then later down the line, they did a PS4 version. And what's what's worse is, this, is they added games to, the, to by a download uh, to this, which was cool. They didn't have to do that. But I know the PS4 version will have those games on the disc. 
Whereas this doesn't have those games on the cartridge, so I should have just waited and got the PS4 limited edition. As it is, I might buy the PS4 version and just keep this as a limited edition version. I don't know. It's, it's kind of annoying, but there you go. It's still a really good collection, but I recommend getting the PS4 version. Uh, unless you don't mind it not having all of the stuff on the cartridge and downloading some stuff. I kind of do, because I'm a physical collector. Um, next up, Starlink Battle for, Axis, uh, Battle for Atlas. Actually, not that bad. Um, better than Star Fox Zero, I can certainly tell you that. Star Fox Zero was not good. Um, but, you know, not that bad. It's not a Star Fox game either, which is kind of funny. But you got the little toys, uh, toys to life, as you would call it. Um, this game's not that bad. It's so cheap now, by the way, guys. This game is so cheap. It went, I mean, this, this released for like 90 or something, like 89. And it just went down and down and down. I paid less than 20 for this. You can definitely get this for less than that now. Hey, no worries, Slayer. Appreciate you, my friend. You rock. And I will catch you later, my friend. You're awesome, buddy. And I'll see you next time. Wonder Boy set was amazing. It was, right? Nice, Daniel. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people a lot of people are doing Twitch these days. Yeah, that is true. Um, next up, we have The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. I streamed this. I streamed this relatively recently, not that long ago, actually. Um, very good remake of the game uh, that I would have dropped on the floor recently. It's on the floor over there, the, the, the Game Boy Color cartridge. Catch you later, Slayer. Love you, buddy. Mwah. It's on the floor, actually, uh, Jonin's cartridge that uh, that he, uh, that, he um, that he sorted out for me. Um, it's, it's on the floor because I dropped it uh, earlier in the stream, so it's pretty funny. Um, but there you go, Zelda Link's Awakening. Um, remake's pretty good. I streamed it. I streamed both the original. I say the original. I streamed the Game Boy Color version and and this version as well. Pretty cool. All right, last, last. Oh my goodness, we've, we've gone through virtually almost. I mean, I, I mean, I skipped over some stuff. Um, like like some of the PC and some of the some of the Commodore and stuff like that. I skipped over some stuff, but last of every game, I've I've, I've shown you guys sixteen hundred plus games, over one thousand six hundred games in this in this video. Can you believe it, guys? That's why it's been over three hours. That's why I, that's why the time's flown. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. Okay, la last game for me to show you guys um, before we call it a day, and it is. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I think this is the game that I actually got the Switch for, uh, because I, I I had I had um, I I had uh, Breath of the Wild. I had that on the Wii U, so I didn't need the Wii U. Uh, so I didn't need the Switch for the for Breath of the Wild. Um, so I actually got it for this Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and um, and they they've added uh, a DLC to this on cartridge. But it does annoy me that the the, the extra the extra cartridge with the extra stuff doesn't have all of the DLC on it, which is kind of annoying. So there is some DLC for this. I'm I'm hoping they'll release like a complete edition down the line or something. That would be nice. Um, but yeah, wonderful, wonderful game, and uh, certainly certainly drew me into getting. It. I'm very happy to know that other Xenoblade games are getting the remastered treatment, and they're going to be on the Switch as well because it's a great game series that deserves more credit. And man, guys. This was this was such a journey. You guys are amazing. This was so much fun. Um, so much fun. I'll tell you what, my friends. Let's go ahead and do a raid. Let's go ahead and raid Big Boss Incarnate. I'm going to drop his link into the chat for you guys with the hashtag MBL Raid, and we'll raid him. He's a fantastic streamer. Um, alongside Amy, let me live gaming. One of the people that motivated me, that inspired me to stream, and um, they're amazing. So I want to give them a raid. I want to, I want to, I want to get them back. And they've they've raided me as well. So you know, I want I want to get them. And we'll, let's go ahead and raid them. I'll drop their link into the chat. You go ahead with the hashtag MVL Raid if you would do so. And that's how we shall close out this a giant live stream game room tour that has just been. Crazy! It's been crazy. Uh, wanted to do this. I I, I did it. <laughs> we gave it a go. You can say that. It was it was it was it was definitely a technical challenge using a phone to do this and to and to run a live game room tour. Um, but it was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. And if you like the video, please leave a like or a comment to let me know what you think. 
And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. And if you'd like to, you can also support me on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. There are exclusive videos for Patreon supporters as well. Other than that, guys, don't forget to hit up that raid link in the chat with the hashtag MVL raid. Thank you for watching, guys. You guys have warmed my heart. Honestly, it just makes it so much fun. I'm without words about how far we've, we've all come together. Uh, with the channel, you know, before I was able to focus my thoughts into doing the channel, I was in a, I was in a pretty dark place, honestly. Uh, but but now uh, I have this community and you guys are here with me. It's just been so much better. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart so much. I've been MVO and I will catch you next time.